can't have nice things. With all of that in mind, I'm going to put a marker right here for our awesome Archivist Dragon Rider X, letting him know we're getting into the story. I'm going to tab over to this screen, and we are going to get back in to Waterdeep. So, when last we left our heroes, where is my party theme? There it is. When we last left our heroes, Connie and Pierce went to the Hall of Justice to figure out what the fuck was going on with the uh, the dead gnome, the fireball, and all of that nonsense as the investigation was being conducted by the City Watch and a member of the Most Careful Order of Magists and Protectors, known as Barnabas Blastwind, armed, as Percival was, with a note uh, saying that it was in Vajra Safar and thus forced Gray's interest to be involved in this investigation, they made some surprising progress. In the meantime, Brayden had bunkered down until he could get into safety because the Harpers now had his number being a member of the Zentarum, which forced Sawcom into a rather precarious situation. The twins did some info gathering, and we'll probably start with the twins uh, on their own while Lawrence went to work. And everybody, as I understand it, with the exception of Brayden, had agreed to meet that evening in, I almost said the Yawning Portal, in Troll Skull Manor with Rainier to go over all of the information that everyone has gathered. Is that about the size of it? I believe so. Did I miss anything? I, so. I feel like I'm missing something. I think the twins are in separate places right now, but other than that. Yeah. Yeah, because you walked out. You left. Yeah, I shoved the horn in his chest and walked out. Right. Uh, so I horns. think I think I don't want to start with Pierce and Connie because we ended with Pierce and Connie. Right. Who do we want to? Who wants the first scene? Oh, I will leave I that up to the nightlight. Oh. I got something I can do. Okay. A couple things I can do. Uh, Gamza, you're thumping and it's loud. That was the old man, and I don't know why. Well, you can mute, so... I mean... So, anyway. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, so we, we fade in on Rockham. It's mm -hmm. still, like, around lunchtime. Yeah. Um, you know, you're sans your horn. Make sure you mark that off your character sheet. You've, uh, got, you've got the shopping list from Rachel. You've got yeah. your money that you got from the Dragon Scale. You've mm -hmm. got your bow. You have a permit to walk around with a weapon, I believe. I believe you have that. So, you, like, I'm not going to stop you for that. Um, so, yeah, so where are you? What, what, what are you doing when we, when we fade in? Uh, I think he's heading to the... Uh, I don't remember the name of the marketplace, but... It's called the, the marketplace, uh, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's where I'm heading. It's like the central market. The thing outside the Hall of Justice, the big market. Yeah, the big, the yeah. big one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you go out. It's, it's like a... Effectively, it's a parade ground that when there's not a parade going on, there's this huge, like, flea market that, that crops up every day um, with various wares on sale. It's one of those places where you walk in one side and you walk out the other side and your coin purse is lighter and you have stuff in your hands but you don't remember buying anything. It's one of those places. Um, Except I'm here to actually get things this time. Yeah, so so you pop in. What do you what what do we see Rockham looking for, or is, he, or is he just looking to blow up steam? Uh, not blow up steam. At least not here. But okay. I think first I have two things. To, well, two air quote things. It's going to be a list. But mm -hmm. the first order of business is to get the uh, the groceries and stuff for uh for all. Okay. Um. The groceries are like. It it's not like like you've done. Grocery. I mean, hell, you went to the to the town with the Amber Ridge grocery list before. Yeah. You've done that repeatedly at this point. Um, yeah. This is not like that. It's way smaller amounts, and because Rashawn is a dragonborn, it's not the same stuff that you're used to. Like flour is nowhere on this list, for example. Um, but it, yeah, it, it's it's a much smaller quantity of a shopping list than you have ever seen. All right. Um, but there is a there there is a, a market uh, with vegetables and fruits and various livestock and livestock produce uh, available. You can find everything on the list pretty easily. I believe Rashal gave you some money as well. I believe so. Yeah. Um, 
So just for the sake of it, because you reek of foreigner, yeah. uh, you reek of foreigner. Could you uh, just make a persuasion check for me, please? Okay. And just in case it matters for anything, I do have personal shopping to do after this. Sure. Persuasion. Okay. Yeah. Um, all told, Rochelle's shopping. Let's see. He did ask for milk, which is perishable and a luxury good, and some fish because he's a gold dragon. Um. I would say all told, it, do you recall how much he gave you specifically? Because I don't want to overcharge you, but it's going to be most of it. I'm trying to find it in my notes. Um, I want to say it was somewhere in the 20, but... I was, was, was going to say, wasn't it like 20 or 30 gold? I yeah. thought it was 25 gold. That's what I thought, yeah. It might have been 25, yeah. Okay, so we'll, we'll say 25. So, uh, And that's about what I was going to say here. It, it runs you okay. about 15 gold. Okay. Because yeah, he, get, he would have included a tip for you. Okay. And then, yeah, I'll get all that stuff for him. And then, okay. just jumping out of character for a sec. Yep. Uh, an ability I have for the animal companion. Yep. We talked about this last time. Yeah. With the 25 gold worth of rare herbs and fine food, I can do the ritual for eight hours. Yes. Um, you can get animal feed here. For the rare herbs, as much as Rocco might not want to, the best place for you to go would be Corellian's Crown. Yeah, I'll swing by. That's not here. That's all the way back in Troll Skull Alley. But yeah. Yeah, but I have to drop this stuff off anyway. So. Yeah, I can't. I can't promise those rare herbs will be here. You can make a check to see, but okay. I, I, I can promise you that uh, Fala will have them. It's up to you. Yeah, I'll, I'll go by the uh, Grillian's Okay, crown. good. Ahead, bye. Drop okay. off the stuff and then... Uh, but you can, you can get the kibble here. We'll say five gold for that and then 20 gold for the herbs. Okay. That's no problem. Yeah. Uh, did you have any other works. shopping that you wanted to do here? Make another persuasion check. That's performance. There's persuasion. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. So, exactly what I quoted you. Total of 20 gold in the market. Right. And then, uh, yeah, shopping wise, that's it for me. Okay. Where? So, so, so maybe we see, maybe we we fade on and rock him at the end of those purchases, right? He's got yeah. the like grocery bags under his arms. He's got the little bag of dog food like hanging out one of the sides, right? And mm -hmm. he's like making his way back to Troll Skull uh, Alley. And to drop off the uh, groceries, as it were. So. I think at the entrance to Troll Skull Alley, I need I need somebody to help me out because I I've forgotten. What was the name of the reporter that Rashal told you about? Oh, I don't remember either. Um, I didn't write it down. Um, Molly Thornbuckle. Sorry. Molly Thornbuckle. Molly Thornbuckle. Thank you. And what paper did she write for? This is why you have players take good notes. Yeah. I recently lost I got my notes. the name, I forgot the paper. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not gonna lie, I I really was hoping that Gracie would have us covered like usual. That's bad. No, I got the description, but I miss the actual I, name. I, I literally have an, a list of all names we have gotten so far. <laughs> well, the thing is, we need to sit down and have a review at some point. That's fine, mm -hmm. then I will just... Then she won't yeah, mention just... what she's for. So as you enter Trollsco okay. Alley, you see a from your perspective, a child, a human child, like, peeking in one of the windows of Troll Skull Manor, like, from the front stoop. Yeah, I'll, not necessarily as in stealth, but just quietly walk up and see yeah. what he's up to. Um, you can't tell a gender. Um, okay. human child, cap, one of those big cloth caps that are too big for their head, right? Backwards, <laughs> like Ash Ketchum. Um, so the bill is facing you, but they're peeking inside. They're wearing, like, um, not quite a trench coat, but it's, like, it's in the same style of a trench coat. It just, like, stops at their thighs. Yeah. Um, and they're, like, yeah, they're, they've got, like, a notebook in one hand, even though they've got both hands on the windowsill peering in up on their toes. Uh, their boots are well tailored. Um, hmm. 
Oh, and okay. and they've got like a pencil behind their ear. You can't really see much about them from behind. Yeah, just once I'm a little bit behind them, just. <clears throat> yeah. So spinning around is not a human child, or if it is, they have the oldest face of a child you've ever <laughs> seen. Um, it's a it's a young woman. Um, like it, it's weird. She has the body of like a ten year old, but she oh, has yeah. the face of like a thirty year old. Um, bright red, like coppery red hair. Um, the the cap, the pencil, freckles all over her face. Bright green eyes. Um, a huge smile. You could tell that she's like used to dealing with people. And under the the jacket that she was wearing is like this gray. Like, it's not a work suit per se, but it's also not an adventurer's costume. It's like equal yeah. part to mechanics coveralls and like one of those things with all of the pouches that adventurers wear. It's like somewhere okay. between the two of those. And she has a little badge what... on her belt that says, you can't read Water Davian script, can you? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> okay, and she has a badge on her belt with words on it, but you can't read it. Does it look official from what I can tell? A little bit, yeah. Like from other badges I've seen. Since kind of from thing. other badges you've seen, she is definitely not a member of the Watch, but it does look official. Okay. okay. And she just, like, puts her hand out to you, uh, and she smiles, and she says, um, um, and a good afternoon to you. Which twin am I, uh, yeah, fuck. God, talking like that is hard. <laughs> and a good afternoon to you. Which twin am, do I have the pleasure of speaking to? That depends who I'm She talks to. very fast. Yeah, he's like... Because, yeah, and he's been up all night, he's exhausted, so I think there's a slow, like, blank, blank, and then... Yeah. Depends on which twin you're looking She's, for. like, not even up to your knee. Like, she's tiny. Um, and you're also carrying groceries, so she, like, like yeah. calmly puts her hand down, still beaming at you. And she says, I was told I was to be expected. Slow blink. Oh, right. Um, looks toward the door. One minute. Go and <laughs> He has, like, his hands full, so he looks at the door. <laughs> and then he just presses it with his foot. Yeah. So, so like, kicking it open. Just, yeah, know, so you, you like, push the door open. Because it's not locked, because it can't yeah. lock. And and the, the halfling, like, peers at you for a second. And the look on her face was like, I should have tried that first, but she doesn't say anything because she's polite. <laughs> and she yeah. just, like, pops in after you. And she, like, you don't know if it's because she's small and she's running to keep up with you, or if she's just, like, gay at heart, or if she is, like, playing up the fact that she looks like a child, but she skips after you. Okay. Um, she, she comes inside, and, she, and she's, like, still smiling. She says, love what you've done with the place. Yeah, it's it's a work in progress. For those of you playing oh. along at home, they have done nothing to the Rundown Manor. Yeah, exactly. It is a shit show. It's um, a work in progress. Now, now, I feel the need to bring up the fact that we did clean the <laughs> dust. You did not clean the sore room, uh, the the tap room. No. You cleaned upstairs. We checked out upstairs. Me and some others had cleaned it down downstairs. I don't believe yeah, you there was have. A scrubbing scene. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's Fairly still true. full of broken furniture, and the yeah, windows are gone, so it's full of dust and shit anyway. And almost Fuck. every window has this little wire with a bell on it for some reason. Yeah, right. Yeah. And y'all yeah, set all the stuff on like the bar counter or something. So I think I think she looks at and so yeah. So when you turn back around, she's got the notebook in her hand, and she's like writing something on it. And you say, "Can I help you?" And she says, "Huh? What? Oh, um, yes, um." I was told to interview the, um, wait. And she, like, flips to the notebook. Nightlights. Nightlights. Yeah. Yes. I look around. Is there any other shit? No. Right. Uh, may I want to cover your ears for a moment? I'm no, sorry? Wait a sec. Just cover your ears and I'm going to shout. Rockham, uh, Connie. You are Rockham, so you names. shout your own name oh. loudly. He's tired. I'm, I'm dumb. He's tired. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so she like claps her, like claps her hands over her ears, and, and you shout. There's, there's no response. Lawrence, can you make a perception check, please? Oh dear. Yeah, because I just start listing off the names in case anyone's here. So. And I assume you're, you're like, sh 
shouting Goliath. Yeah, like be belly shout. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm just not gonna do it on my face. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. In my defense, I think I have an excuse on that. Uh oh. No, it, it it's fine. So so yeah, no one answers you. I was gonna make the small reminder that Rock Gum Connie and Pierce know where Sockum went. Sockum's also tired as hell. Or Rockum's also tired as hell. Correct. Why well, I haven't brought it up yet. Well, it would appear that I'm the only one here. So uh How many of you are there? Oh god, Brett one has to count. Hold on. <laughs> One, two, six. Three, six, four. my brother. <laughs> Thanks, boys. One, two, three, four, nine, 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 hundred of them. They're literally on the screen. I, I was about to make a joke, but the game that killed it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. There's a. Uh, there's six of us for now. Did you write something on the pad? And have you been in Waterdeep long? Not long. Talking that fast is so hard. <clears throat> And Rockham, every time she, like, goes, he has to, like, take a second. Oh, yeah, no, because she, cause she's, <laughs> like, her voice is way more high-pitched than mine, yeah. and she's talking a little bit faster than me, so she's just, like, birdsong at your face that you have to translate. And um, during this, I'll find a chair to sit in at some point. Um, so she, she writes something, she's, and she says, yeah, have you been in Waterdeep long? Not long, no. Okay. How long is not long? Correct me if I'm wrong, a little over a week at this point? You're on your third week, actually. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow, I lost fucking count, but... Not, not far we into your third week, but you're you're on day, like... I kind of swore we were, like, 12 over 13 days. I, I have you on day 15, that might be wrong. I have long lost count at this point. <laughs> yeah, 15 it is. Too. Fuck it. If it wasn't 15 before, it is Anywhere now. between 12 and 16, I feel, is accurate. So there you go. I've been here... I'd say a little, somewhere around two weeks. Two. She writes something down. Uh, she writes a lot. Oh, um, I'll, I'll wait. Yeah. <laughs> and when she's done, she says, um, uh, So, how does it feel to be a hero in only two weeks? Were you a hero before? Not in these parts, at least. Write something down. Uh, what did you say you were from? I'm getting better. I'm trying to remember... I think it was Amber Ridge, but I might be wrong. Ridge, that is the yeah. name of your hometown, yes. Mm -hmm. okay. I knew it started with an A. Uh, Amber Ridge, it's not really around here. She writes a lot again. Yeah, all the way um, again. Turns the page in the notebook, keeps writing. <laughs> Do you want to look at what she's writing? Uh, if I can. I don't want to like lean over her. Okay, if, but... if you don't want to lean over her, then you can't. She's like got a little notepad, and she's like leaning over it, and the big hat's blocking yeah. it. Um, You're writing an awful lot for short answers. Huh? What? You're writing an awful lot for short answers. Uh, um, <laughs> part of the job? Fair enough. Um, right. Um, so what, um, I understand that some of the nightlights are affiliated with various guilds. Uh, wh whom have you decided to, um, throw your lot in with? Duh. That's literally hurting my jaw to do that. I, uh, my allegiance is light with the nightlights, and that's all. And what about your associates? Some of them are in various guilds. Such as? Guilds are very important in Waterdeep, you know. You know it's, uh, let's see, there's... Sockham is with the Harpers. Connie is with... Is that with one X or two? Come again? The name that you said. I don't know any of your names. Oh, I'm Rockham. Holds his hand up. Uh, and she spells it, but she spells it incorrectly. Not that I know. <laughs> hmm? I said, not that I would know, because I haven't been looking at what she's writing. No, she spells it out loud to clarify. Oh, oh. And yeah, but she spells it incorrectly. I'm not going to use I'm not going to use English spellings because you're not okay. speaking English. I think he would he would correct her. It is that she scratches something out, even though there's an eraser on the pencil, she scratches something out, writes something, um, and she nods and like waits for you to say the next name. Yeah, I'm just one by one, like Sockham, Connie, Lawrence. Yeah, she's writing everything down and then yeah, are you telling him the guilds that they're affiliated with? Everyone besides Braden. Okay. 
What do you say for Brayden? He is still looking at his options. Hmm. Kind of like me. Or something says, and I understand that everyone in your party has a favorite skill set. Is that true? More or less. Did you write something down? And you're responsible for the um. How do how do I put this? You're responsible for uh, calming the uh, magical disturbance out in the uh, undercliff, as well as the attack on or in uh, the yawning portal. And you're the one who discovered the fate of Melon Warjagen. That's a simple way to put it. But yeah, I suppose. Writes a long time again. Yeah. I think at some point I'm just like drawing circles in the dust on the table. Mm-hmm. And she, like, stops writing for a second and, like, reaches into her coat and she pulls out, like, a stack of legal documents that had been folded, like, tri-folded, and she, like, slaps them down in front of him. She says, uh, right, you're not from around here. You'll need to sign a release form so that we can use your, uh, interview for the paper. For a moment. Well. Would you wait here for a moment? I... She looks around the, like, shitty underground. Yeah, I go to, like, the front door. Oh, you want her to wait outside? No, I'm, like, can, like holding my hand out, like, wait here for a sec. I'm gonna... The goal is I'm going to shout and hope Lawrence hears me. Okay, so you toddle over to the front door. She's watching yeah, you with interest. Door. Yep. <clears throat> and just, I'm not gonna shout on Mike, but he just shouts yeah. really Lawrence! Loud. Lawrence! Lawrence, make a perception <laughs> check. Lawrence! I figure he's probably either at work or somewhere around here. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely at work. You do not hear anything. <laughs> I wait for 30 seconds. Yep. Did I see him? No. Don't go in the cellar or don't and don't go upstairs. I'll be right back and I'm just book it to the to the uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Steel. So 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 we we diagonal wipe to the steam and steel where all three of you, Avi and Brick and Lawrence, are just working away on the day's orders. You're probably like singing, and Brick and, and, Brick and Lawrence are probably singing while Avi is like, you know, keeping the rhythm on his anvil. And then up pops Rockham. Lawrence, I need to steal you away for a little bit of time. I think Embrick scowls. It's nothing dangerous. Physically. I'm not too terribly concerned. Um, our dear boy is more than capable of himself in a fight. I'm more concerned about the disparaging rumors I've heard about your acquaintances. I don't know what that means. I like Lawrence. Did I miss something? Chase Gare! And Lawrence is rubbing his face like, oh, fuck. Because Uppy did and... say he was going to tell Embrek. <laughs> yeah, and you know, just hate the fact it's come to this. And Lawrence you know, signs and just they know. Cool. Right. I need to Hmm? You didn't catch that? I heard cool, but I don't know who said it. No 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 before that. Did you hear what Lawrence said? I caught most of it, I think. He said no. No, no, no! I said they know. Oh, sorry. My that—that's that, oh, what okay. I was I doing about. Was like, so. Okay. I sorry. So, I've okay. Been enunciated. <laughs> Rewind a few seconds. Yep. Okay. Right. Things we need to come back to later. There's a situation, and I need to steal you away for a minute. I'm... I mean, Lawrence is looking around at the work orders. Like, really? Now? <laughs> yes. And I start walking back. <laughs> if he doesn't follow, I'll figure something out. It's fine. Okay. But tired Rockham is kind of a bastard. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. yeah no, he's tired and he doesn't know how to deal with this tiny person who showed up in his life with a bunch of paperwork. And Lawrence has obligations, so he'd probably look at the take your side of me. I mean, I think I think Embrick and Avi are having a silent conversation, trying to decide whether they should let you go. Like Avi is making one face, and Embrick is making another face, and they're like, and, and it's <laughs> and it's totally, you know, it makes perfect sense. Camera yeah. swipe to one face, camera swipe to the reaction. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think I think after a moment, Embrick, 
uh, and the obvious stance changes, and Embrick sighs. They haven't said a word. Uh, um, they do. Obvious stance changes, and Embrick says, Very well, I suppose. Though while you're out, do try to find Miss Gambleson. I still want to work on her magic, for want of a better word. And Lawrence is already smiling and says, Right, I'll get on that the moment I can find her. If it makes them happy, then okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anything to get back to some sort of semblance of normalcy around here. Yeah, right. Things have not been normal since your friend showed up in Waterdeep. Yeah, and, and <laughs> that is probably rattling around in Lawrence's head more than once. Like, god damn it, I should never have told him to come. <laughs> right. Just as a side note, yes, I am booking it back to the... Okay, so, the, you, so you yeah. run back, and I and, think... I think, yeah, so... Lawrence so, will follow... So you By the run... way, I'm half speed because exhausted, so you can yeah, catch up easily. Yeah, so so you guys get back, and Molly is behind the bar. The ta the papers are showing the, the the counter. She's like behind the bar, looking at the broken bottles, and she's like about to touch a shard of glass when the door opens, and she like jumps. So Lawrence, you see this child. I mean, Lawrence is stressed, so he's probably gonna be a little bit curt, and he's been dragged away from work. Yeah. Welcome, I'm duck to the child. So yeah, we'll pretty much. Like, what, another and... one? Would just the one Pierce found not enough? Like... <laughs> That's terrible. The Nightlight's Adoption Agency. No, okay. I mean, right? <laughs> Actually, awesome. no, so, across. considering he's been in water deep longer, would he connect it faster that, oh, this is a halfling? Like, yes, absolutely, if she wasn't dressed like a child. Gotcha. She's dressed like a news porter, as in the kid who stands on the corner and shouts extra, extra. Yeah. She looks like a kid okay. until you see her face, and she's not facing Lawrence, so. And, you know, now you're a believer. Right. Uh, <sighs> anyway. <laughs> so, open door. Would, would you be leading the way, Bright, or would I beat you to? You get there uh, at the I'm same time. Half speed, so it depends how fast you are. You'd get there at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, so I'd, pr I'd probably, you know, step yeah. in first. So, so the door opens, and so you see you see this kid about to touch this, like, broken bottle, and she jumps and, like, squeaks. That's what you saw. First off, out. Second, who are you? She, like, scurries around the, the bar. Um, She pops out. All smiles, of course, like, skips up to you. She holds her hand and out. And Lawrence is having none of it. Yeah, she, she holds her hand out, and she says very quickly... <laughs> She says, um, I still don't remember the name of the paper. She says, um, oh, um, Marigold Thornbrush, uh, reporter for the, uh, uh What Are Dating Gazette? Uh, you can call me Molly. And Lawrence will be polite enough to, you know, shake her hand. At this point, you can tell it's a halfling. And, yeah. Okay. She comes up to your so, waist as opposed to Rockham's knee. <laughs> yeah. And just under my breath, I just whispered it, so... I almost said Brayden. I was for to Lawrence. Uh, she confuses me. And Lawrence just rolls. My man, quiet. Who precisely you are? Roll his eyes. Lawrence Parnassus. How can I help you? I'm merely conducting an interview with uh, your uh, leader of the Nightlights. I don't know why you're here. Sorry. <laughs> None of us really lead. We're kind of a collective group. Just seemed keen to answer all of my questions. Well, I understand that you scheduled an interview. Well, that's probably something we'd forgotten. It has been a bit hectic in the last couple of days. I saw the powder burns outside. Did something explode? Our front doorstep got fireballed. She pulls, and like, was, whips out the notebook. Like, you can hear nope. the notebook crack as she flips it open and starts writing. Yeah. And it was, what, yesterday? Yes. Yeah. And no, yeah, no, so. it wasn't yesterday. It was earlier. No, it was yesterday. You're right. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it was yesterday. yesterday by now. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. And, and you know, you make that point of, yeah, we got fireballed yesterday. We're still trying to figure out what's going on. Do you have any suspects? Are there any leads? Uh, who was hurt? As I, uh, as uh, are there, uh, sh should I, ah. should I add in memoriam to some of these uh, biographies? And you know, out of character, just ah, she's one of those types. 
He speaks very quickly. She's speaking even not, faster not, than not, I am. Well, also Mary Jane Ace Reporter here. A little <laughs> bit, yes. <laughs> okay. there's, a reason, there's a reason I went and got somebody, because Rockham is not that fast. Right. And Lawrence can uh, yeah, like, actually read Lawrence, you're scripts. a little bit more used to this. She's practically speaking Sylvan. It's like accented. Oh, wow. It's accented common. That's almost Sylvan. Oh, well then. Yeah. Rock has no way of knowing that. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, why she's speaking so quickly. Yeah. My mind just went. This is a weird local. Lawrence knows some of the locals. Correct. Go get Lawrence. Yeah. So Lawrence probably take a seat on on the one of the bar stools and just look at her and say. There's papers Where's on the table answer? behind her. She's like standing in the middle of the room, but there's like papers behind her that are clean. They're new. And, you know, Lawrence tilts his head and say, What's all the paperwork for? She looks over her shoulder, her like hair pops out of her hat and like bounces when she turns her head. She looks back at you, brushes it out of her face. Standard release forms. Say again? Standard release forms. From behind her, I just give a shrug. And Lawrence would sigh and be like, oh, great. There's garbage. And he'd probably go over and uh, start taking a look at the forms. Yeah, you've never had to sign a press release before. <laughs> well, no, but I do know how to read, you know, yeah, legal documents. Yeah, true. Make, to intelli a, to make, a small make an intelligence check. This would almost be a charisma saving throw, but not quite. <laughs> yeah, no. It'd be a wisdom thing with over me. You're not. It looks <laughs> standard. It, it looks everything appears to be above board, and and fine and normal. If she is trying to get one over you, Lawrence does not notice it. Yeah. About how far away are we from? You are across town. <laughs> oh boy. I don't shout that loud. You you're are also, not gonna be there. You're for also a face first in paperwork. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. a while. And oh boy. be very is... careful about sharing information is all I'm going to say and stay out of it. Oh, absolutely. Something, something, he's a harper. <laughs> a bit well, late. No, so that... Rockham already spilled that. I mean, he's no. been telling everyone within sight, it's fine. I'm commenting on the fact that he already shared that. Actually, all of you about. have been saying that. Sockham has yeah. only said it to other harpers. More Rockham heard the whole harper thing is a joke. So. And the Black Viper and Durnan. And Vajra, let's, let's and Laurel right. Silverhand. I'm not the one who spilled the beans, I'm just kicking them around. None of whom are Harpers, Gamzee. <laughs> okay, okay. Come down Only out of Harpers? your ivory tower and shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Only Vajra's allowed up there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Not wrong, though. And no, but go on, Gamzee, what were you going to say? Only, Only Harpers and people that would probably kill me if I withheld information. I mean, you told Xanathar to suck it. Well, I'll be dead in a couple sessions, it's fine. I told Xanathar to suck it? Yep. Did I? Yep. Not to his face! <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, I don't but, remember doing that. But you, you did, you did, this is Xanathar, like, spies on Waterdeep, he may or may not have heard you. Anyway... So, Lawrence is going to look the paperwork over and say... Like I said. Yeah, and just... You know, I'd like to have everyone take a look at these just to be safe. I don't feel comfortable signing for everyone. That's completely reasonable. Uh, though the uh, signatures are only binding to Watertavian citizens. And at this point, the only one is me. Wrong! I've been here for almost five years. You are a Waterdavian citizen. True. You are not the only one. Well, the uh, of the of the six of us. No. Really? It's Pierce? Oh, right. Sock, Pierce, and Connie. Yeah, because they're all gilded. Okay. Ding, 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 oh. ding, ding. Wait, that's um, the only qualifier? No. Oh. But, but it basically means you're part of... You're that's part why I didn't say Brayden. Yeah. Uh -huh. Official guilds, as it were. No, no, Zentarum's official. They are official. They, they are. Hmm. 
The less people who know about that, the better, I feel like. But either way, you know, Lawrence is just going to weigh the papers and be like, It's only like three papers. Hang on to these. And, huh? Oh. It's only like three. Oh, yeah. I thought it was like, you know, a she kept them in her, like she kept them in her coat, something. man. Oh. I figured it was like a stack of 20 sheets or something. No, it's like three trifolded pieces of paper. Oh. So either way, he'd probably just say, can we hang on to these and look them over before we sign anything? I I must admit this is a little bit um, unorthodox. I was told to report here and interview the nice life today that I was expecting. Uh, out of character, the other option is just to wait for everyone to show up. Who knows when that'll be, though? Well, yeah, here's the problem is, I don't know where Pierce and Connie are. <laughs> Brayden's gone. Ironically, Sock the only way... Go ahead. Yeah, just, Sock is somewhere, and Loris has work. Ergo, it's kind of an issue. Like, what's crazy is she's smiling, and her tone is chipper because of her accent, but her body language is like she's getting annoyed. Yeah, well... And Lawrence has, has zero fucks to give at this point because mm -hmm. he's got responsibilities. So so does she. This is this was going to be quick. <laughs> so does she. So <sighs> and Lawrence will probably just sigh and say, "I apologize for the inconvenience. Wasn't expecting all this to be so scattered at this point." Uh. What would you like to know? Maybe I can help with you. I... So... She, like, points the eraser at Rockham and then at you. So, you're conducting the interview now? I'll find somewhere to say. Figure <laughs> that... We kind of, we're, Like I said, we're basically just a collective group. We can kind of speak for each other to a point, but always nice to have first-person per perspective, isn't it? Mr. Pegasus, was it? Parnassus. She scratches out something in her pad. I... Most unorthodox. I'm... Right. Um... So, the... Explosion... Fire... Ball... As in the spell? Outside... Mm -hmm. Was... Um... That's a separate story from the... Heroism of the Nightlights, or was that the... Are they related? We don't know yet. And if you're wondering about the memoriam, 11 dead. Why? So, so she starts writing, and out loud she says, From 17 to 6, the nightlights have suffered heavy losses recently. <laughs> I, I, they were nightlights. <sighs> None of the nightlights were harmed. From everything we discovered four of them were performers a few of them were just average war damian citizens but none of us were hurt yeah, However, it was it was one old lady three like servants right two zents two zents dalakar four performers Right. Because she's writing while you're talking. And she says, Was someone upset about you breaking the arcane storm? Or, or That's what we're trying to find out. Xanathar? Uh, was it Xanathar perhaps uh, seeking revenge on the, the uh, uh, interlude at the Yawning Portal? Or even. Um, what else have you done? She like flipped back to her notebook. <laughs> or... And you know, Lawrence, Lawrence will actively fuck with her at this point because mm -hmm. he's oh. kind of he's still aggravated, mm -hmm. and he'll, he'll just tilt his head back. He goes, "Well, there was that dragon in the harbor, but that was kind of unrelated." He snaps the notebook back around, and starts writing again. <laughs> Great, <Sorry. laughs> uh, this this is going to sound terribly racist, but what color was it? Bronze. Just writing in her notebook. Very nice, Slayed a bronze dragon in water. Oh, he's not Pop. dead. Failed to slay a water <laughs> deep dragon. Yeah. Made friend. a truce. Diplomacy. He's friendly. 
He's friendly. Hmm. Should write something in her in her notepad. Dear God, there's gonna be a mess in the press. Oh, you have no oh, idea. Oh, no, yeah. absolutely. Hey man, we always say. Problem isn't familiar with how the press works. So. Lawrence is really? probably already going. Yeah, this this thing's a rag. So who gives? Oh no. We <laughs> any publicity. Good publicity. <laughs> The only the only way this can be fixed is if we can like just like outright tell her no you can't put any of this in the paper. I mean you haven't signed the forms yet. Yeah. Therefore, yeah, she can't. And I have no reason to stop Lawrence because I don't know how all this shit works yet. Yeah, being out there. And so she's just like yes, yeah, so she's writing, and she's writing for a while. If you and Sock want or you and Rock want to have a conversation. Uh, and I'm Lawrence would probably look over like. So, how are you feeling? It's been a long night. Well, if the windows weren't already broken, they would be now. <sighs> Not exactly happy about it. Yeah, well, we got the quote, and we're waiting on them to renovate, so... Hopefully, you know, everything will get fixed up a little bit. Be nice after to have some freaking this. windows, have some solid doors. After this, furniture. I need to go drop the off actual the furniture. That'll be nice. Oh, also, Lawrence, that reminds me. There's like yeah. grocery bags sitting on the bar with like bottles yeah, of milk and, and like and a string you know, of sausages. Lawrence is, yeah, and Lawrence is gonna be looking over like, "What? We're all having to go shopping." Yeah, he needed a few things, and I needed a few things for. Better go get all that to him. I'll I'll stay here for a little bit. You can come back if you want. Do we need Do we need the upstairs today at all? And, you know, Lawrence is going to tilt his head a little bit, like, I don't think so. You want to put some stuff I have, away? I have an idea on how to bring back uh, Carol. And Lawrence I thought you said no one. Like, <sighs> Carol and she's like, my... Paul's in her writing is like looking between the two of you. Carol was my dog companion who died during the, uh, he just makes like a storm, like moving with his hands. Yeah, he... She under cliff. Storms. Under cliff yeah. yes. claimed the dog. Dog? Like yeah, a dog. dog. Normal dog, yeah. You strike me as more of a wolf type. Hm. Right, I don't now. think they'd let me have a wolf in the city. Would be entertaining, though. That pun had layers, and nobody oh, caught yeah. it. Mm hmm. Yeah, well, anyway. If you've got this, I'm gonna go. Yeah, go, go take care of this. I mean, I can hold off for a little bit longer. So okay. You know, so, get gathering all the stuff. So, oh, so, so, so I think I think we 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 would uh, we would crossfade from from like Rockham walking out and and Lawrence like pulling up a chair and settling in with with Molly Marigold. Um, and I think we we fade over to Sockham. Where is Sockham? The Sockham's on his way to the docks. Are you going down to the docks? Okay. He was told that Vitri is the privateer type. Yes, indeed. So he figures the best place to look for a pirate, near water. Correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong about this. Mert said he was just in town. In sense of time or in sense of no location? I thought Mert said that he was in town because he was mentioning it to, for me to go talk to him because he'd be right, a good right, person. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not disputing that. What I'm saying is, didn't he say that Vitri had just arrived? I think so. Okay. Yeah, he did. Okay, that's, that's what I thought. Okay, so so you make your way down to the docks to find to find Vitri. Do you have any idea what Vitri looks like? Because I know Mert didn't tell you. I don't think so. Okay. You just go. That guy looks like a Vitri. So well you done. go down to the dock. You go down to the dock ward. You go out to Waterdeep Harbor. It's like two two or three o'clock by the time you get there. Because Waterdeep is big. It takes you a long time to walk the city. What, like, what's your plan?
Sock. Apologies. The machine's getting booted up now. Well, I have to worry about this because that means I have to. I had to change my mic, so now I'm quiet. Uh. No, you did it. You nailed it. Nice. Uh, main plan was to add, mainly ask around, like, "Hey, I'm looking for Vitri. I'm looking for someone named Vitri." Okay, but with no plans on how to accomplish that. I'm just asking Not if you really. have a plan more than just walk up and down the docks and see if somebody's named Vitri. Mo That's most of the plan. If that doesn't work, I do have myself a backup. Okay. Make an investigation check with disadvantage. I didn't want to give you disadvantage until I knew that was your plan. I, I can tell you I had something, but what it was, I can't tell you. I don't, I don't really know. Now that, I... That disadvantage will get you every time. Performance and disadvantage. You can always guarantee I'll have a good roll with those. Yup. Unfortunately, it's not a good roll you can use in this case. Yeah, I know. Do you, like, ask people if they've seen Vitri? Yeah. The most you get is hearty laughter. I'm gonna take that as Vitri's a hard man to see. Okay. Um... Backup plan. Find out if the horn works for people you don't know. <laughs> have you attuned to the horn? <laughs> I, I imagine Sockham would have on his way over here if that's okay. a long enough trip. Yeah, yeah, totally. So, I think... Here's a question for the table, because I think it's fair to ask this to you guys. Is it fair if someone attunes to Azure Edge... Azure Edge is also attuned to the other magic items they are holding. I feel like that's your call. I, I'd say that's fair. Does attunement go two ways? It, uh, there are, like it, intelligent Azure items are very my... rare. That's why I'm bringing it up, because there's no... I mean, the axe is... It's, it's like linked to my mind, Exactly, right? exactly. That, that, that's why I'm thinking, like... I personally would say yes, then, because... I'm leading towards yes as well. All right. So I think... So I think you're, you're, you wonder, though, like, Sokum has the thought, like, I wonder if this horn will work, and in your mind, because I heard it's on your back, right? Right. Are you, are you carrying it a different way so that, like, its eye is over your shoulder so that it can see? Uh, yeah, that's how Sockham's been carrying it for a while. Cool. So, uh, so I think I think in your mind, Azure Edge says, um, "Now, now, let's not be hasty. Uh, all things considered, uh, blowing a very large war horn while people are trying to go about their day could result in fines, if not a terribly awkward conversation with the City Watch." I suppose. I've been trying. Um, I thought it not to explain, but you already know. Mm. I, th I thought it didn't make sound except to the person you were t signaling to. It's still a warhorn. No, it. Whom whoops do you designate can hear it out to the spell's range, but whoops you do not designate can still hear it in the horn's range. Ah. Which is fine out in the woods. Or, you know, on the battlefield. <laughs> Less fine in Waterdeep. Yeah. So that'd be something you go out to, like, the middle of fucking nowhere, use it, and then right. hope the person comes to find you. Well, what do you suggest then, Azure Edge? Uh, that would depend on precisely what your intention is. Well, I've no doubt you heard, Mert. Trying to locate someone that I know nothing about. 
if you Unless ask you me, and this isn't only the fact that I'm technically property of Force Grey, but if you ask me, the old goat is setting you up for failure. Frankly, I don't doubt it. His tiff with Archmage Safar has spilled over into your merry band of friends, and now you're pitted against Percival. Well, I mean, I don't see it as being pitted against him. Uh, we're Do conducting an individual investigation. Fair. You won't even give it a description. I would say, as much as it would be tedious, we should go to the Hall of Records and see if there's a V-tree under the census. You know what a census is, right, boy? What comes to mind of Sockham just, like, thinks to himself, we'll pretend we do. <laughs> Right. A list of all of Waterdavian citizens and where they make birth, to coin a uh, sailor's term. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. However, even though you are ranking in the Harpers and you have rather, shall I say, uh, persuasive company, uh, such a thing might take the better part of the afternoon. And then there's the matter of finding the man when we are of course, do back at the yawning, uh, yawning portal. When we are, of course, do back at Trollskull Manor this evening at sundown. Oh, shoot. Uh, Azuridge, do you think Dernan would know Vitri? There is a saying that the barman knows everything. I have to make a delivery anywhere. Hmm. Might be permissible. Might be adequate. But you should have a backup plan just in case. Remember, proper preparation prevents poor performance. Right. So, if Dernan doesn't know, what we'll do is your plan of the uh, Hall of Records. Census. Census. Yes, the census. To the Yawning Port! Huzzah! Spinning nightlight symbol. You show up at the yawning <laughs> portal. Uh, let me switch the music because there is afternoon show going on. Which is... Where is it? Where is my... Where is my... There it is. Boop. Boop. So you, you, you step into the yawning portal um, by yourself, but with Azure Edge. You're greeted with the the cheers, like like the show cheers. Everybody's like, well, hey, Sokka! Like, you get, like, patted on the back, and, like, people are excited to see you. This is different. I like this. This is fun. He, he's, he, he, makes his, he makes his way straight to Durnan. Hey, you head downstairs the in the iron portal. You walk up to Durnan. Durden is, is smirking at you, and he nods, and he is, <laughs> before you say anything, he goes, check your coin purse. Uh, <laughs> okay. Your coin purse is loose on your belt. Oh, no. It's there, it's just loose. <laughs> Sockham's gonna just, he's gonna tighten that up as best he can. Uh, thanks. Uh, Dernan nods uh, at you. Uh, got a delivery and a question. He holds a finger up. Same. Okay. He nods. He says, First of all, Bert, the Merciless is looking for you. I sent him to Trollskull Manor. Yeah, I had a chat with him earlier. Second thing, what did you step in? Step in? He leans over the bar. I got paid a substantial amount of money not to tell anyone your friend's here. Raiden's here? He leans back. Nope. Um. What'd you step in? I cannot get low enough for Dernan today. 
Ah. Uh, a way to put it simply, shit. Yeah, go on. There it is. <clears throat> I think uh, um, there's a joke here. I have no shit, Sherlock. Let's let's say um. No shit, Sherlock. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't that one heart? Fuck you. Good. And that was big psychic damage. I lose two seconds while I plug my headphones in and I miss it. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Ow. Uh, and then, secondly, let's say the group is uh, having a small division. And. It's what do you do, sleep affiliate. with Connie? Uh, oh, wow. Hey, his shot's like No, he'd be dead if that happened. Yeah, like, he just, like, I think Sockham puts his hand on his head. I'm not sure if that'd be better or worse, honestly. What do you do, sleep with Lawrence? <laughs> <laughs> and Speaking Frank. You know, over in Trollskull Manor, Lawrence just shudders. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think Sockham, like, turns his arm and taps underneath, taps the forearm. Oh, Assuming Dernan fuck. will know what that means. Yup. It's put the whole group at a bit of odds against one another and... Yeah, well you being a fucking Harper. Right. So what's your question and where's your delivery? What am I taking? Better not be dragon parts again. He he's gonna take out the bottles. Where'd you get those? Picked them up earlier when I was attuning the other day when we were attuning to Azure Edge on our way back to Troll School. Right. He swung by and grabbed a couple. That's right. He takes the bottle from you, and stares at it, looks at you, stares at it, looks at you, sets it on the counter. I'm waiting. Uh, the question. The other three bottles. The other three? I said four bottles every week. Shit. Yeah. I won't expect payment on that one. I fucked up. Um. Freebies, I guess. Looks at the bottle. I'm not in the business of looking a griffin in the mouth. Snatches the bottle. Puts it in the, the locked cabinet behind the counter and locks it again. Your question. I time. Uh, do you know someone named Vitri? Got a surname? What are names big? Uh, they're a Harper. I, I don't have a I don't have a surname. Mert didn't give me one. <laughs> he starts laughing. Of course. What do you know about him? That he's a pirate. Do and I Harper. look like I'm in the business of dealing with pirates? No, you're in the business of, well, traveler, uh, room, board, drink, and food for adventurers and people that'll pay. And Do you good. fucking think pirates will pay? You know, Dernand, I was about to say I don't think Sockham knows what a pirate is, and I really don't. No, but you have Azure Edge. It's fair. <laughs> listen, listen, Donand. Only half of me knows what a pirate is. Like lightly jostles Azure Edge. Right. You know what a highwayman is? Yes. Water. That's water a pirate. Bandit. A pirate's a water. Okay. I apologize for the stupid assumption. What do you want with him? Uh, uh Mert. <sighs> Putting this as straightforward as I can because you're not the person to omit anything for, really. Mert told me he wants me to begin my investigation into the incident in Troll Skull. And he wants to I make I heard sure about that. that. Everybody okay? Um, the Nightlights, yes. 
The 11 people the fireball hit. <sighs> Who were they aiming at, you? They were aiming at a, at a gnome. What? Sockum le like Sockum like leans in, start to talk a little quieter. Yeah, Durnan like story. pours you a, a beer and like slides it over. Long story short, so... Daggle never ember sent us an envoy or so of our sorts. And someone didn't like that. So at the exact same time, Durnan and Azure Edge say the exact same thing. But I'm gonna say it as Durnan, but Azure Edge also says it. He says Do not under any circumstances repeat what you just said. Understood. I don't care if it's Laurel Thrice Damned Silverhand. Do not say that sentence. Got it. I can't Someone. protect you if you do. Oh. Right, okay. Uh, double, triple, got it. Daggle Next Never one. Ember is a fuck. I heard. Public enemy number one. All right, um, I'll rephrase. Um, a gnome, a friend, decided to stop by the Troll Skull Manor, and someone didn't like that, and they took a rather barbaric approach. Zent. That's the assumption. Shakes his head. What does this have to do with a pirate? Well, Vitri is a harper, and Mert told me I need to solve this situation before Blackstaff can, so the harper. <laughs> he starts can get laughing again. Yeah, a lot of people have been doing that. <clears throat> Look, it's not that I don't have faith in you. Actually, you continue to impress me. The problem is, Blackstaff has this thing called a scrying pool. I don't know what that is, but that sounds awesome. Imagine a birdbath that can look through walls. That's awesome. You're competing against that. Technically, I'm competing against my brother, but yeah. Your brother a Blackstaff? Yes, of all. Yeah, he... Blackstaff? Yup. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. My adorable... money's on your brother. He's got this adorable little... <laughs> <laughs> Nice that there's a lot of confidence. He's got this adorable dying little, uh... in the background. <laughs> Nightfall is die. Whoa. Holy shit. <laughs> that got him, apparently. He has to start uh, making death saves. Oh dear. Yeah, exactly. Well, I think uh, I found the what the one. fuck did I say that fucking KO'd you, Nightfall? <laughs> he's, he's, he's the money being on Pierce. Like, of course it would be, but it's just hearing Durden say that in his voice. Okay. Cool. All right. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sockum continues, like, he's got this adorable little, like, onyx pendant that he wears on his chest. Yeah, it looks fourth grade. Official. It's great. It's very official looking. It's great. Proud of I him. I mean, you also have one. You have a little silver harp. Yeah, but he keeps that pocketed, so much. I mean, that, that's your business. I'm just saying you have one. Uh, yeah. So, so Dernan says, look, what happens if you don't do this? Mert's unhappy? My best bet? He hasn't actually, like, threatened you with anything? Not that I can think of. Wash your hands of it and have a drink. Speaking of Dunand, mm. he's gonna, he's gonna, like, slide up, up table. Is Brayden here? Nope. 
He's definitely not in the room he's been renting the whole time. In fact, I, I haven't seen him for days. <laughs> Azure Edge goes, I think this is an example of duplicity, Sockum. Can you put that in terms I understand? Do you say that out loud? Do you please tell me you say that out loud? <laughs> yeah, but rather quietly. Okay, as so 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 Dur Durnan raises an eyebrow at you, and he goes, "Maybe you definitely shouldn't check the room. That's definitely locked." <laughs> <laughs> Just like slow. I turn that. <laughs> Adrian just, just doing that thing that sentient items do when they fucked up. He's just silent. You see the dial tone. Oh right. Oh. I've got some business upstairs in my room. Um, definitely not that room. I'll talk to you later, Darren. Definitely not I'll... the vacant room that you didn't pay for. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> yep. This is great. <laughs> he like turns and starts Wonderful. making his way up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, something makes me think that then Salk should not be investigating this. And Durden doesn't think so I don't either. Know what you mean? I'm enjoying this. I love this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, man. fuck! Hey man, there's a record to be set straight here, and Sockum's on the mission. Okay, so. He, he couldn't find a pirate, so who better to find a pirate than a land pirate? <laughs> than a land you pirate. pirate? You mean a cowboy? <laughs> you gonna find? You gonna use a cowboy? Do you know a cowboy? <laughs> I, the, the other the other option is uh, just just. I'm I'm frankly surprised you, you know that gonna, first, kit. The the other option is the. Uh, the Black Viper? You know where the Black Viper is? I, you do not know where the Black Viper is. That's the point. No. Um, Wait, so, I do know her, though. <laughs> yes. Oh Technically, she knows you, but yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, no. Brayden, are you still in your in-room at, like, yeah, yeah, he's 3 o'clock? Yeah, he's probably, like, sitting there with his hands on his face. His face on his hands. Okay. Like, fuck with her. So there's a knock on the door. Immediate like jump, grabs his rapier and let <laughs> Horry's behind the door and just holds it silent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sokka, make a perception check. Brayden, make a stealth check. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> of course. Okay. So you knock on the door. There's no answer. It's. Definitely not your brother, who's definitely here. Uh, Harper, I don't know how this works. I'm here to talk. I don't. I think I you're getting the hang of this, Sockum. Uh, Brayden has that look on his face. Oh, Pierce is gone are. again. <laughs> Over in Blackstaff, I'm just hard looking at Pierce. Okay, I'm, I'm two death saves down. I'm, I'm just gonna try to hold on. Uh, Brayden's got the face of the fuck are you on about, but also you are the last person I want to talk to right now. Yep. <laughs> um. There are. Talk him, like, talk him, like talk him, at... talk him, talk him. Tell him Rainier's not with us. Right. Uh, Rainier's not with us. There's still silence. <laughs> but, uh -huh. Have you said that in a way? Like, <laughs> right. Rainier's not with us. That was the Did point. I... That was There's... the point. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the most suspicious <laughs> way. No, I, no, no, Azure just being is being completely earnest. The problem is he's neutral good and does not have any points I, in deception. Uh, um, <laughs> hold on, I've, hold on. I've got a, can, I've got, can, I know what to do. Salkum, shut up. Go, Brain. Can I make a perception to see if I heard two sets of footsteps coming up? Yes. Right. You have disadvantage because you were sitting on your bed with your hand, with your head in your hands. 
You did not. Well. One second. So welcome, call higher low. Uh. Call higher low. Uh, low. You did not hear two sets of footsteps. Right. In a, that high, case, a high I'm roll would have been a wait staff member walking by or a guest or something. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, that, I think. Uh, remember the first time this happened? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I, I repeated that. It just quickly opens the door, pulls him down, and that holds him at knife point. Okay, so the problem with that is this is Sockum. Yeah. Both of you make athletic checks. The line oh, line. you poor child. Mm -hmm. uh, athletics. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Brayden? There it is. I did roll it. Okay. So, what happens is, Sonkum, the door flies open, and suddenly you have Brayden hanging from your collar. <laughs> Look, you motherfucker! Oh, no, Aggie's just not holding him, trying to pull him in and pull him in. It's like, not it working at all. Sick. Yeah, I just stop for a second. Just like this light, just way calmly steps in, closes the door. Hi, Brayden. I seen that going differently in my head, and then just lets go and steps back. <laughs> This is anybody that has any right to be, just say oh, it. Yeah. Yes, so good. Puts, puts the knife back in his pants and let, crosses his arms with the. Do inform, do, do inform your brother that I am here as well, please. Uh, Azure Edge is here too. Brother. I don't care about the axe right now. Well, maybe the axe doesn't care about you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you hurt his feelings. Anyway. We'll, really, we'll, we'll, we'll right see now. what happens when what? you need saving. Don't tell him, but I'm, of course I'm going to save him. He's a citizen of Waterdeep. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Zalkov just goes along with it. It's okay. So <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think it well, actually fits Zalkov to just go it with it. It really does, um, yeah. I think, I think like, Zalkov, like, leans on the wall. Now that, now that Rainy is not here, and he, like, looks around the room. No other Harpers. Looks behind him at the closed door, I think. Well, I as far know. as I know, only you two know, unless you decide to talk, as usual. Hey, I've been pretty good today. Looks at him skeptically. Yes, <laughs> I didn't you even only tell told her. the people of the docks and Durnin and uh, well, your family, obviously, Rainier. Um, I would say, on the whole, that's less than a baker's dozen, so yes, well done. I didn't. E I didn't even tell Mert. Like, come on, man. Point is, now so that no, Brayden, no, no one else... he apparently talked to Mert. I looks at this. Hold on, Mert came today. To the manor. Yeah. It's like just throws his hands up. It's like fucking. It makes it feel better. We got a hundred platinum off him. I. Yeah, that is good, but. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, how long have you been a part of them? I. Like. What, three, four days since we got here? <laughs> no. Or was it a week? I can't remember. And... If you've well, been in, that. We'll, we'll say you've been in Waterdeep about 14 days. Mm -hmm. You you joined the Zents on day 5, I think. Is it 5? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, what, Maybe, maybe later, but it, it's been over a week for sure. Yeah. I bet a week and a half, two. Hmm. And I'm guessing you haven't been able to gather much information on this. Since you've I mean, probably I, been I've here so far. Talked, I've, I've actually talked quite a bit. <laughs> With people, I've got some information. I don't know whether you have the same. All I really have is that our gnome friend did have what we're after, and that's and that he did know he was in danger. That's about it. 
I was told oh, to look thanks. for someone named Vitri, but apparently pirates are hard to find when they dock. I don't need, know anything about the Vitri character, but yeah, they have a, quite a bit more information on you. Funny that, that they hide like bandits when on land. <laughs> in Sockham's defense, or I guess in Vitri's defense, it's not so much that he's hiding like bandits, it's that Sockham went to work, and the, the, the bar of the people who fight pirates. Valid, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, since I've got no obligations to arrest you, since I'm the only harper here, fill me in. <sighs> Alright, just don't let anyone else know that I'm here. Tell the rest that I'm fine. I'm not dead, at least. Listen, I'm pretty sure the only reason Dern let me up here is because I'm your brother, and I gave him a platinum. I sincerely think that Dernan is worried about him. I was oh, going to say, oh. wait, Dernan, Dernan told you I was here. Yeah, and uh, me too, I dread. Uh, yeah, he did, but, well, sort of, Fuck, he said, money for that. He, he said he's definitely not in the room he paid for. Uh, don't even try to look, he's definitely not there. Don't worry, I haven't seen him in days. Oh, uh, okay. Dear God. So it let's shake his head and it's like, fair enough. He also asked us what we stepped in. He also st asked us what he stepped in. And, um, well, it's darn it. My, <laughs> options, my options were lose my head or be a Sockham. Or be a Sockham. That's nice, actually. I, I don't think that you would have, um, you would have resorted to beheading Sockham. There's a, a rather sizable drop about uh, six feet behind him. Okay, thank you, Azred. That's <laughs> not anxiety I needed. What I love is Sockham answers Azred verbally, but no yeah. one else can hear him. <laughs> Brains look now, I'm like, why? I know you're talking to the axe, but come on. I have a question. Can Sokka answer the axe mentally? He doesn't know. He's never asked. He he, li he literally uh, he literally thought to himself earlier, "I'm going to pretend I know what that is," and then Azure Edge explained it. Correct. Mm -hmm. But Sokka has so, not caught this yet. <laughs> so as far as Sokka's aware. Maybe, but he hopes not. I remind you, Malone War Dragon was a respected hero, not a crazy man who talked to himself at all hours. But <laughs> <Yep. laughs> uh, well, why can't Sock be both? You're right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, you know, Sock, um, when someone asks you if you know XYZ, you don't actually need to tell them that you know XYZ. You're sure, but yes, if you don't need to. And I'm pretty sure he wouldn't care if you told him otherwise, he'd probably find out himself. Unless, you know, it meant that his bar was going to get burnt down. Well, we're done here, Sockham. He's definitely his Antarum. We're not done here. First of all, onto the business I actually came for. I the information about what the fuck happened in front of our house. No, 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 no. The r actual reason I came. He let steps back a bit, like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, he's like, I'm really sorry I got angry. I will I he put I'm a not... sizable crack in the wall. Angry, angry doesn't to... begin to cover it. Yeah, I just. You know how I feel about lying, being lied to, anyway. I didn't lie. I just didn't say anything. Okay, but I you had multiple times to say something to us, multiple times that I told people that you were not a member of that group. Like... <laughs> Man. I mean, maybe take some pointers, you'll probably learn how to lie very quickly. I lied to you one time, didn't I? Just a few days ago. And you bought it. Like I said, you're getting better. 
Anyway, that's that. If you forgive me, anyway. It's like size and it's like. Sockum, you're my family. I'm never going to turn on you. Even if it means losing my own head. If I can avoid it, I'm going to make sure I keep away from other Harpers that know so I'm not honor bound to arrest you. And I if mean, what, there they are. Won't kill them? If there are, I'll try to do the look away, let you run thing again. Um, interesting thing, uh, neither of you are from about here, right? No. Uh, neither the Harpers nor the Zentarum are technically uh, law enforcement. They're mercenaries, adventurers' guilds. Uh, you know, the type that attracts the frequent goers of the Yawning Portal. What they have is a rivalry. And, frankly, what zealots in both camps think is that the other one is evil, but it's not necessarily true, says the talking axe from the clearly superior guild. So, <laughs> so what I'm hearing is, I'm not legal bound to arrest Brayden. I'm, hey, your family is shit, so I'm gonna throw you in the slammer bound. That sounds about right to me. Yeah, uh, I'll go with that. <laughs> So long as it's not, you know, number one of the Black Network, or Martha Merciless, or really, that's about it. You should be able to come and go as he pleases. Uh, it's, it's more so what you're saying is... What I'm saying is that Laurel Silverhand right likely has no problem with him whatsoever. The Zentarum are an officially recognized guild of Waterdeep. So, what I'm hearing with my big boy is uh, I have a chance at convincing Rainier to drop it. I didn't say that. <laughs> he looks at Brayden. I might, you... maybe, probably don't, but I might have a chance that. Brain is looking at him like this is a bit of a one-sided conversation. Yeah, it is. Sorry. <laughs> Could anyway. you convince Rainy or not to report me to the Harpers? Probably not. Probably not. Um, but maybe... Could, could you not tell the Harpers where I am? Yes. Oh, I don't plan to. Good. Far as I'm aware, me and the Nightlights are the only ones that get to know you're here besides Dernit. Because he already knows, because you've paid them. Wait, uh, sorry. Did you, just, did you just induct me into the nightlight? I don't think I've yes, had I a that. You're my friend. You don't... Yeah. Oh, oh, so I'm no one again. Just the magic talking. Fine, no, see if I help no. you. I, Adredge you're... gets very heavy on your back. Make a strength <laughs> saving throw. <laughs> Cranky axe. <laughs> wow. Okay, I need to actually check Azure HDC. Um, oh, dear God. <laughs> you rolled high enough that I actually need to check Azure HDC. One second. Uh, In the meantime, Braden says, as long as you don't give the axe to anyone, I'm sure we'll be fine. Maybe War Dragon. Azure. Do I, do I have it Azure. in my notes? I might have it in my notes. I have it here. Hang on. The axe becomes ten times hev uh, heavier than normal and can magically adhere to any medium or large object or surface it comes in contact with. Once it does so, the axe can't be wielded. Nothing short of a wish spell can separate the axe from an item or surface if it has chosen to adhere to it in this way. Uh, so if Azure is just 10 times heavier, could you still carry it? I'm pretty sure with my current carry capacity, I can carry up to like 200 more pounds. Okay. How much me, does Azure Edge, Azure Edge currently weigh? Uh, Azure Edge is currently 4 pounds. So it now weighs 40 pounds. 
So I think I think I the strength save I think I think the strength save is yeah is to keep your balance. So yeah, so so yeah, I, I, I so I think Azure says something to the effect of we'll see if I help you next time and then gets very heavy. I didn't say that you're nobody. I said you're my friend, so you're a nightlight if you want to be. With, with some blade polish. The, some the, blade the, polish. the crystal it's opens up. slightly, but Azure doesn't say anything. Would some blade polish be an acceptable apology? What am I, some Chilton China? No, but everyone loves a good shine every once in a while, don't they? Do you love somebody a good shine, Baldy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who needs somebody to quote that. Please. I think you'd rather have something else shined. <laughs> Uh, careful, Pierce. That might that was almost your third save. Let's drop some blade oil on your head and see how you like it. Hmm? <laughs> well, what would be an apology? I think Azure mumbles something. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. I. I... Typically, point, lovers bring just... flowers. Okay. Flowers. Okay. Seems fair. Anyway. I'll, we'll get those as soon as we're done here. Azure Edge lightens and the crystal opens again. Anyway, on to business, Braden. What was that about? Uh, weird people would call it a lover's, lover's quarrel, but just an argument between a. Oh, so I'm weird her. now! No, I said weird people would call it that. Oh, so I'm not a person, is that it? <laughs> I'm sorry, are you implying you would call it a lover's quarrel? I... Facing trial and tribulation at one another's sides, keeping one another safe, and being roughly manhandled constantly? Yes, I would! <laughs> <laughs> But pardon me for being a romantic. I think I think Sokka makes like a really weird face and is like, we'll talk about that tonight, how about? After the <laughs> guys, I like, hey, follow third guest saves. <laughs> the funniest the funniest part about this is is he's doing he's saying all of this aloud in front yeah, of Brayden. Looking at him like the fuck and <laughs> let suck him. Don't fill me in on any of this. Just don't he's catch me. Sharp, Brayden's doing the sharp Y emote. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's like just just don't fill me in on any of this. Just. If right. I catch you making it with the axe, just <laughs> no. God damn it, right. Harper or not, I will throw you in that fucking well, dock. I mean, technically, technically, you could turn Sokum into Zaraj and get money because he's a Harper. Yeah, but throwing him in the harbor is funny. Yeah, fair. You're not a member of the Harpers, you're a member of the Harbors. <laughs> Don't start making out with the ass. That's a fucking quote. That's a fucking quote. Oh. Oh. Anyway, back on track. Do you want this information or not? Quote yes. Ad. Right. So, like, just grabs a bit of paper, writes, writes in, like, what he knows, the whole, like... Alright, so what do you write on the paper? Uh, Pull out your notes and do the work. I've got, I've already got my notes out. Good. So <laughs> give them to give them your brain. Or uh, talk them. Sorry. What can I just? Uh, I'd so writing down on the bit of paper to give to talk them. Is like the Zantarum are looking for a guy called Ed, Edson Floxum. I, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Ersto Floxum. Estro. Fine. Ersto Floxum. Who apparently survived the fireball? Might have the stone. Find him. See what he knows. Preferably before the black network gets him. Or whatever through the fireball. Eh, uh, the Zents were after. Aye, the Zents were after Dalakar. They were wanting him alive. For what? 
can't find out because even Braden wouldn't know that they know about Lafleur, so he wouldn't right. admit that. But right. So black network contacts aren't are getting stonewalled. I'm finding that finding that out. Uh, Floxen's employers haven't heard from him for the last couple of days. Or was it? Was it this? I right, they haven't seen him. So you know the name of his employer. And it's a name that should be very important to Sockham. Over the Grohound Villa. There you go. Nar Narhound. Whatever. Yeah. So Sockham right. mentions the Growlhounds, which is the name that Rainier mentioned. Uh, wait. Wait. Hound is. Fucking. I'm writing this down. I'm not saying it so you don't know yet. <laughs> mm. I'm still putting it in my notes because I'm gonna I... forget no matter what if I don't do it now. I don't know how to spell service, so we're gonna butcher it. Of the Malhuns? Growlhund. Growlhunds. I am now imagining a tiny chihuahua. There you go. Aha! Growlhund. It's a fancy way of saying greyhounds, guys. Yeah. Right. Oh. Yes, but it sounds like growl, as in like. Grrr. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> yes. The growl. Hunt. It is a war. It is a Forgotten Realms ass name once again. Mhm. Mm and as a foot, like footnote, if you haven't got to the bodies and searched them yet, do it before the Black Network done. Two cents. You didn't search them. I I did. No, you didn't. You went through their one, you I, went through their I, effects. You didn't yeah, search and them. And then when I checked when I checked their bodies, I looked at one of their one of them and confirmed that. No, no, no. Yes, they, no. What Brayden said was search them before the Zents do. That ship has sailed. Oh. Because yeah. they're in the custody of the Watch. Uh. Why exactly before that? Well, because if the Zents get a hold of them, you're not going to get a chance to look at them. Because that sure shit ain't going to go asking questions. The Otherwise, watch unless you want. Already has the bodies. And you don't think the Zents can get to them? Yeah, I keep forgetting the kind of people you're in with. <laughs> and on that note, we crossfade. <laughs> nice. Thank you for setting oh, that God. up. Oh, so, God. Brayden and Brayden and Connie. Not Brayden, Pierce and Brayden. Connie. Yeah, Pierce and Connie. Thank you, Pierce and Connie. In a, in, a, in, a, in a in a room with metal shelves, like in the middle of the room and along the walls, sitting at a table, going over police reports. You've got Barnabas Blastwind sitting across from you with his own paperwork, and uh, he's just coming to the conclusion of his notes, and I am going to tell you what he says. Okay. As I'm soon as I fucking find the thing. Uh, what time is it, by the way? Uh, it's it's about the same time, about three o'clock. Okay. Oh. Here we go. Uh... So, in conclusion, the gnome was fleeing his armed pursuers, of which there were three, not two. The third is not among the dead. The gnome and his pursuers were coming to your illustrious tavern. However, none of them saw the fireball coming. Which leads me to believe there was a third party involved. I, I something's been nagging at me. Hang on, I'm gonna pull up Barnabas's handout so you guys can see him. Do, 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 do. Boop. Boop. There we go. Go ahead. No, 
Oh wait, never mind. I misunderstood what you had said. Yeah. Go ahead. I, I was gonna say... If he had three pursuers and none of them saw the fireball coming, but one of them survived, how does that work out? But I'm assuming you meant the three of them as in the three corpses we found. No. No. Dalakar was, was uh... being chased by three dudes. None of them okay. saw the fireball coming. One of them didn't die in the blast. I, when, uh, from from what we heard from everything, he kind of just like he either limped away or he was just unscathed. He, he it was missed. How did it miss? It was a fireball. Good question, right? Yeah. Barring good question. some like affinity for fire, I don't see how he could have survived that. Is Connie if saying? He didn't at least expect it. Is Connie saying this? Yes. That is what we are trying to determine, Miss Gabelson. That and his identity, of course. It's all quite strange. From... I apologize again. For suspecting you and your associates. It's completely all right. We were, we rushed to the scene shortly after it happened, so we were there. And I'll admit my actions were a bit hasty. Some of your associates are rather barbarous. Okay. Yeah. Uh A crime such as this is unheard of in Waterdeep, so naturally we would expect foreigners or other primitive individuals, orcs perhaps. Thanks. <laughs> right. Citizens of Waterdeep have their own prejudices. I can't help it. I know. Right. That was not thanks to you. Well, I must say the primitive races. We can. Um, we hang out with are loyal and honorable to a T. I shall take you at your word, Miss Gabelson. However, that still leads us to the question of the identity of this third Zentarum agent. <clears throat> yes, I'm not... I feel like this name was mentioned by someone, but me, Pierce and Connie don't know it. Connie knows it. Do I? Yup. Didn't Zaraj tell you? Zaraj told Brayden. Rainier told Connie. Thank you. Right. right! Right, right, right. I just can't remember what he said specifically. He said Dalakar. That's the gnome's name. He doesn't know the third guy. He's looking for it. He'll tell you tonight. If he doesn't Wait, get held no, up. Hold on. Didn't Rainier already tell Lawrence about the third guy? Yeah, he told him about the third guy. He didn't know his name. I don't think. I, uh, yeah, no, yeah, he, he mentioned did, it. Oh, he then, did then, 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 then he did tell you. Then yeah, then yeah, Connie knows. But only Lawrence was there at the time. Oh, then Lawrence knows. <laughs> this is why the players keep notes to keep the GM honest. So yeah, so Connie does I, not know the name. <laughs> right. Connie's. <laughs> Connie's a bit stumped with what she has here. Her next bet is probably ask around town again. Is there very anything interesting in the, the paperwork that we were given? Um, just the information that I've already given you or that you've already gleaned. It's just you have it in character now. Okay. Um. There's, there's a statement from... Uh, uh, Jezrin Hornraven, who you spoke to. There the is a puppet lady? Mm hmm. There is not a statement from the kid, and there's not a statement from Fala. Uh, because you guys got to them first, but everything else that, that we've discussed, you guys now have access to in character. Okay. Jezrin Hornraven? Mm hmm. And I think he's gonna pick up that paper. That has the Jezrin Horde. Mm -hmm. oh, this is all on one little pad. Oh yeah, 
It, it, well, yeah, uh -huh. it's little it's little notes, but then they've been transcribed into like full sheets. You have both Did because you demanded cooperation. Yes. You, you have you have like Barnabas's little notebook, and you have the official police report. This woman was one of the first people that we saw, first people that we talked to that stated that she's seen the attacker, the one that cast the fireball. Associated with one Vincent Trench, I believe. Can you make a perception check, please? I can. Uh, Both all, of us or just him? All three of you. I'm actually going to have Barnabas make one, too. Perception. I would be very surprised if Barnabas did not have decent perception. Good. He's a cop. I hope so. He's he's technically a PI. Well, not a PI, but a, a, like a, a public uh, investigator. But yeah. Okay. So he's a PI. It's just the wrong P. So I don't think either of you notice it, but Barnabas does. While you're talking, he like starts and like looks out the closed door, and. Excuse me. Excuse himself. Trundles out of the hallway. Um, and yeah, so you you guys have a second to like talk amongst yourselves while he's dealing with whatever that is. I'm still not entirely convinced that the two people with him were trying to attack him. Not either. Like, yeah, they had ropes if they wanted to catch him, but. Did they have the ropes out? No. They didn't have their weapons drawn. And another thing that bothers me is that they were coming to our doorstep. Which makes it no sense. Unless he needed something from us. What on earth could that even be? Who knows? I do think we need to go talk to this person, the lady that saw the thing. Maybe now that it's been a little while, maybe she's calmed down and is less frantic? So the door and opens and, and Barnabas comes back in. Just He doesn't seem like plussed about anything and like closes the door, sets back down. Everything oh. all right? Quite, quite. Just a, a guard shift. In sight. Yeah, go ahead. I love how Connie and Pierce have not once trust Barnabas. Oof. He is being entirely forthright and helpful. Okay. At least as far as he knows. As far as he knows. <laughs> wow. Uh, hey, I gotta, I gotta get some GMisms in there at some point. I have when you make everyone question themselves. <laughs> That's the point. Gotta um, keep us paranoid somehow. Mm. So yes, I think we need to go talk with this one. And who were the other witnesses? I mean, right, we'll see the other papers. There's no other witness accounts. Uh, I was kind of hoping they had Rockums. <laughs> oh yeah, they do have Rockums. That's true. Rockums is there. So everyone's attention was focused on this bl on the location where the blast was. Of course, I no one ever looks up. But this one person saw the attacker. Well, We've sent a few uh, trusted uh, city watch members to go into. Uh, Fact check. Make sure we have all of the witnesses knock on doors. You understand? Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, I do believe I want to go speak with this Jezren Hornraven myself and see what I can glean from her. Even a lord of Waterdeep must get permission before trespassing onto private property. It said anything about trespassing? Yes. 
Connie seems generally confused. Yeah. Like, we would just be going knock on her door and ask her if she'd be willing to answer a few questions. Not trespassing. We're You'll need what's called a house. warrant. I can supply you with one. However, I insist that I accompany you. Uh, I would appreciate that. Shall we? Yes. Okay. So you guys get up, put the papers together, and you can carry them, or Barnabas can carry them. It's up to you. It doesn't matter. He's going to go with you. Uh, Pierce will carry them. Okay. Barnabas will keep his notebook, because it's his notebook. But of course. You can have the police reports. So you open the door, and you make to leave the Hall of Justice? Uh, yes, we start heading in that direction. Are you finished in the Hall of Justice? Mm. Is there a physical way to see? Out no, of character, mind. I'm not. In character, I am. Okay. And sir, are you sure about that? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> There's got to be something else we got to do. So Pierce, also, Connie, and Barnabas, second. and Cromley are starting to leave the Hall of Justice. Out of character, I want to check the bodies again. In character, no reason to. Pierce of all, I need an answer. You can't just sit here. I'm gonna... I'm just thinking about all the evidence. Pierce of all... Um, before we go, I want to ask Barnabas, uh, you were thorough in the search of the bodies, yes? As you're walking out? Of course, of course. <sighs> Pierce of there was no There was no sign that the bodies were searched before... You got to them? They were surrounded by the city watch. All right. I mean, Pierce has got no reason to suspect anything mm -hmm. either. So as the four <laughs> of you, as the four of you leave, in the upper left corner of the screen, in white text, it says, "The world turns beneath you. The bodies have been removed." God damn it! Called it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it wouldn't be fair for us out of character to know that they were about to disappear and then go back and look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, as you guys are walking out towards Jezreen Horn Raven's estate, we circle back to the Yawning Portal. Hey. All right. Go on. Um. Not you. Uh, Gams is AFK, so you might want to scan. Oh, is he? Sorry. Oh, no, nope, never mind. He's back. Sorry. Cool, perfect. Great timing. Um, it's like I do this on purpose. <laughs> it's like you have a f fucking uh, third eye. So, I do have an idea then. I know you don't like my ideas. It's because they usually go badly. Yes, but this time I'm giving full permission to change my plan in a way that'll work because you're smarter than me and so is Azure Edge. I wouldn't say smarter, just I'm sorry, about to me. Yes, you and Brayden are smarter than me, so I want both of you to change my plan so it works. Alright, here's an idea. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well come on. Azure Edge is mouthy tonight. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Also, the Kirky actually totally a tavern name. <laughs> <sighs> you know... Anyway, I'm not gonna... Hmm. How okay. did you manage to piss off an axe? I get that it's sentient, but... What? This is... It... Like most people, Azure Edge, can be sensitive to things. And I get that. 
As far and as we, both, goes, we, we both know I have issues keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> As much as... Fine, well, let's hear this plan of yours. Okay, so you said that that this guy got away, right? Aye. And going and by the Black Viper, he wasn't... They weren't chasing fucking the gnome. They were right. escorting him. Right, and I know the gnome had the rock. It, it had... Stone! Be a bit, be a bit pr more precise. The rock? The stone of green galore. Galore Ooh. is the word, not green. Uh, please tell me you've got it. Or someone has it that we know. That's the problem. Ah, uh, I've got sake. the idea in mind. Maybe Erstal has it, and that's why no one can reach him. Because he's holed up somewhere with the stone. Uh, yeah, let's hope. And by the amount Where of watch this there, it's going to be difficult to follow footprints. Fuck! Where do you think the best place for someone like him to hide out would be? I don't know. I'd probably need to ask the Black Network since he was part of them. And that's going to be a hell of a thing. I'm thinking maybe with his employer. I consider they haven't heard from him for a couple of days. Probably not. It wouldn't help. He People wouldn't lie, Britain. People do lie, but also wouldn't hurt to look. Or Gam we might lose our heads. Gamzy. Mm hmm. You bought Waterdeep recently, didn't you? And I have actively avoided reading where we are. Steady. That she is goes. 100% full bar. Also, spoilers. <laughs> I'm just. Gamzee is, dang right Gamzee is dangerously is close to taking fish damage. I'm about to call him Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is legitimately all my own assumptions, goddammit. I swear I really to God. don't like this situation because if he's lying, then he's lying. But if he's telling the truth, we think he's lying. And it's just I, a don't, I don't like the yeah. fact that the day after you get water deep, you start this. That's what I don't like. Well, I mean, this is also Gamzy we're talking about, and they're yeah, very listen, awesome. it could It could literally <laughs> be either way, I don't know. Looking at all the notes I have, this is where I'm going. This is where... Okay, alright, like, so, so far, everything you have put, you have put together is right, and I am a paranoid, I will say that, I am a paranoid, fair enough, steady as she goes. No. No, I feel like it's an asshole. Game it's like I didn't read it. I actively, but, I actively step out stopped of the game for a as second. soon as I reached the end of the first chapter. Yeah. The step out of the game for a second. This is why you don't play and try to GM the same module at the same time. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. like I would be complete. I would be like, damn, Gamzy, good job, and keep it to myself. Except you bought Waterdeep yesterday and you start this. That's where I'm like, mm. I, okay, I'm hold on. Is, I don't want to believe you. I just want you to tread carefully. I, right, we're on I chapter actively... Three. And if what Gamzee's saying is uh, to be believed, he's only done chapter one. I've, I have only read chapter one and the magic items. Which is why I'm needed. saying steady as she goes. Okay. And now I feel like an asshole. <laughs> I am a bit skeptical that the, the fucking... The employers haven't seen him for a couple of days, but... Fuck. I'm not, Actually, I'm not saying you're right, I'm saying definitively your line of thinking is in the module. Okay, fair enough. And, that, and that's what's got me like... Cat, mm. you're also a paranoid fuck. I am! No, absolutely! And I will concede <laughs> that point. Absolutely, it's just, it's just, look at the optics, right? Like, he got the it's, game yesterday. The, the sequence of events line up to a good, to a good result for someone who is in a paranoid mindset to think that. Exactly. And also, oh my god, I'm a good boy, I didn't read anything but the first chapter. The more you talk, the more I realize they are stonewalling us as let, as a bit suspect. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Damn it, Brayden. Uh, yeah, I've been a bit, I've been a bit of a dumbass. Just don't at me here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my ears are on fire. No, 
like, like, like I said, like I said, you're fine. <laughs> it is a conclusion you can draw with the information that you have. Fair enough. It's just word for word in the mind. Whether or not it's right, the conclusion is up in the air. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to talk about what's going on. But word for word, that's out of the notes. That's why I'm concerned. That's the only thing. Fair enough. Okay, back to the game. Sorry, go. <laughs> Fuck. It's, fair, it's a fair concern. Okay, anyway, Sokol, what was your plan? You've not even got to that part yet. Right. So, idea in mind is... I'm a harper, you're a sneaky git. You take to the roofs, I take to the streets, we find this place, and... He just starts repeatedly doing, like, finger guns, like, you you, you get the rest, you know what I'm doing. I, I would rather are. not kill everyone in sight. <laughs> Dear God, Brayden! <laughs> well, you done finger guns, what was I supposed to take that? <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what do you take me for, a barbarian? Yes! I mean, you kill a barbarian. Yes. <laughs> I'd rather not beat everyone into the ground and then ask questions. That was, kill without a doubt, the best moment of this episode. I'm sorry. That was oh, yeah. amazing. <laughs> you, oh, me, buddy cop movie, eh, eh, deadpan. I'm not going to kill everyone, Brady. <laughs> Socko. That's so <laughs> perfect. So, that is the Nightlights right there. That is, that is all oh, God, six characters distilled into one sentence. I'm not killing everyone, Socko. <laughs> God, that should what be a shirt. Is, that is absolutely a shirt. Together, together they fight crime. God, Brayden. I'm Next good at talking. Hang, hang, hang on, hang on. Sorry, real quick. Gracie. Yeah? If I send you Brayden's art, would you wrap text around it that says I'm not going to go in there and kill everyone? Yes. Because I'm going to make that a shirt. Oh, fuck yes. <laughs> yes. I will do that gladly. Oh, <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> okay. Sorry, anyway, continue I'm... with your scene. I'm going to mute and send this to Gracie and you guys talk. Right. I'm very good at I'm very good at talking. Too good. I sometimes can't stop. And yet apparently good at performing as well. Yeah. Uh, I am a scald. Anyway. You've still not explained what that is. Uh, a scald is a storyteller. Uh, it's like a bard, but cooler. A giant bard, got it. Uh, you mean colder because you're from the north. Oh. <laughs> Point is, I go, I try going in the front, you go in the back. Right, what happens if I get caught? See, that's why I'm running it by you, because you're smarter uh -huh. than me. I, I might be a sneaky git, but when everyone gets on high alert, you're not going anywhere either. Right. Brightwind, I'm going to smack you. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> Safe track episode. <laughs> um, yeah. Fuck, my ears hurt. Uh, yeah, I didn't think of that. Um, would it not be better if we both go in at the same time? You introduced me as, like, does finger quotes, a harper along with you. Actually, no. Now that I think about that, that part of the Black Network, if you say you're a Harper, you're probably dead. Right. Hmm. So I think the only way we're going to get away with this is probably sneak. And if that's the case, you sure shit ain't going anywhere near it. Yeah. Unless okay. I give you my cloak. <laughs> I mean, I kind of overloaded on magic right now. I've got Rockham's Horn, I've got... Uh, Out of character, do, do the characters actually know that they can be overloaded on um, magic? Okay, now see, that's a very valid question. And on that same topic, topic what happens if you have more than three magical items on you? I felt like heartburn or something. You, you can carry 
as many magic items as you want. You can only attune to so many, and I believe, much like holding concentration on a spell, attunement is like part of your willpower. Right. So I, I think whatever the sensation is, so, go, excuse me, would be aware that he's tapped. Like, right. I hate to make a disgusting comparison, but it might be like the magical equivalent of knowing that he has to pee soon. <laughs> it's like I, uh, it's, that's pretty. <laughs> that's kind of where I am with that. Alright. I mean, we could trade, but I don't know. Like, I ah, sure I'll take the axe. I'm joking. <laughs> probably can't I'm hold not that. giving you my friend. <laughs> I mean, I probably can't hold that as a edge anyway. He's... Oh, so we're just friends now. Oh, I you. said you were my friend. Again, you start making out with that axe, I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> I'm not. Right in. Right in. Get your mind out of the gutter. What is, what is this episode? Stand up comedy, the episode. That's what it is. <laughs> but right when did the answer is water deep? Yeah. <laughs> like, this this axe... is simultaneously the most serious and most bullshit episode we've had. <laughs> I'm like sorry. Said, no. Okay. Merch not even in this episode yet. You cannot say that. Yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> yet is okay, the operative so word here. Here's 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 the funny thing about uh, Mert is the Water Davy and GM equivalent of the guy who runs by open world RP shouting, I just got pegged in a Bentley. <laughs> <sighs> God, Shoot, I'm sorry. Wow. That's a mental image. Am I wrong? The, no. No. The, f the funniest part about this axe thing is that this is going. This axe is going to be increasingly infuriated with Zalkum or infatuated with Zalkum. Yes. You, 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 yes. you are correct. <laughs> I will like take my notebook back now, Nightfall. <laughs> And can I just say, as soon as you said that, Kit, my mind immediately went to the scene we're in, Mert just casually hanging from the ceiling like it's a like it's a regular floor. Hello! <laughs> just, he's fucking... Right, I think I need to make a death save. That was good. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> If you take the horn, I might be able to handle your cloak if you're willing to go without it and have me join you. <sighs> to be honest, it might be better just to scope the place out and we all go in together, but that may end up badly as well. Right. At the same time, if we wait too long, we may lose Who track. Who knows what could happen? Right. We may either lose track of this person or, like, Hell, maybe all of a sudden this place will go on a rampage against the rest of the city. Like, I mean, hell, for all uh, we know, Zana and he like stops himself and he, like, looks around and like Xanathar may even wreck, wreck the place himself. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. See, this is why I tell you my plan. You, you're smarter than me. I said that a couple of times. Are you getting the point yet? <laughs> Sokum, you make it sound like we haven't known this from the start. That's true. true. Right, tell you what, better idea. Scope the place out today. Tomorrow, me and you will go in together. Righto. Did I just say and, uh, Yes, you did. I hope you're proud. <laughs> uh, I suppose I better come back with these towards today. Fuck it, troll school mana. I do think you've been speaking with the Lord of the Hoppers a bit too much there, Sockum. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I gotta agree. Oh, Brayden. Um... If you're interested on... Where are you be... guys in the room? Just out of curiosity. It's like, Brayden is probably, like, pulled over a stool and is sitting on it, like, in the middle. Okay. Yeah, I, I, had, I had assumed we had moved deeper into the room. Right, I, no, no, that's uh, mostly what I want to know is where are you facing? I've probably Braden's my... probably in the corner to keep like, the window and the door okay. in line of sight at the same Sockham, time. Sockham, where are you where are you oriented? 
facing I, Brayden? I'm, I'm, yeah, so I've okay. got... Brayden, make a perception check. Oh, God. Okay. Uh... You don't have inspiration, do you? I you do. you all should if you don't. I, I do have inspiration, unfortunately. All of us? Yeah. A little curiosity, can I use that to re-roll? Yes, you can. <laughs> That's the one I'm asking. Okay, I always just re-roll. Because you didn't call for it ahead of time. If you call it ahead of time, you get advantage. If you don't, you re-roll it. Aye. Because okay. shit. So while while uh Sockham is talking. You happen to glance slightly over his right shoulder out the window, and you mm. see a, a figure uh, clad in black. You recognize it immediately. Um, she's like, she's got her mask like up the half of her face, and she just like oh boy. pantomimes pulling out a dagger and throwing it in, like through the window and like quirks an eyebrow at you. <laughs> oh dear. Why you can't look at Sockham? He'd like shake his head and like gesture for her to come in. I I I, I promise you she will not do that. Um, right. okay. But you but so you just like shake I your just, head like, like no it, it's fine. <laughs> um, so I I think I think again while Sokum is talking, um you you get the like again exaggerated pantomime right and mind you she's. So like squatting on the sidewalk to look in the window, right? Because you're underground. Right. Um, and so like she like pantomimes like, you sure? It's like nods, like but does it in time to agree with Sockham and her? Right. It's like your eyes are on her, but you nod at something Sockham says. And yeah, so she yeah. just she just leaves, she just walks away. Okay. Continue. God. Um I was gonna try and find her later to, to fucking discuss shit. <laughs> well, she knows where you are. Damn it. Ah, well. I forget entirely what I was saying earlier. Well, find it quick. Hey. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, Would you like me to crossfade over to Pierce and Connie? Sure. Cool. So we, we fade back over to Pierce and Connie. Um, and you guys are standing outside like a brownstone, like a New York style brownstone. Uh, it's a nice place in the in the upper part of the city, um, mm -hmm. and yeah, you Cromley and um, and Blastwind, and then again both of you are out there, and uh, you hear a scream. Ah, shit. Hey, let's get oh. in there. Uh, yes, let's go. Yeah, you hear it. You hear a scream. Like we fade in, immediate scream. All four of you react. Uh, Cromley puts his hand on his sword. Um, Blastwind uh, like starts and like picks up his cane. You two jump into action. I'm gonna need you to roll initiative, please. Of course. What else would we do? Oh lordy. Naturally. Sounds me, like uh, some sense would get tied up. Let me bring over Barnabas. And... Oh wait, I have to click my token. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what I'm, I'm bringing over my tokens as well, so you guys can just do that. Now I can't promise you this is going to end in combat. I just want to okay. see who reacts when. Uh, what is the name of this thing? There we go. Yeah, yeah hang, on, hang on, hang on. Sorry, I'm I'm getting another character sheet. Just in case. There it is. I believe it's called a flesh bulb. Uh, you hope not. Oh dear. Honey, a flesh goes on my fuck you two up. There we go. Don't oh, know. Okay. And then I'm just gonna roll this one in secret. I mean, to be fair, 
judging from his character model, that's accurate. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> okay. So, boop. There we go. Okay, so this is great. So Connie and Pierce react at the same time. Cromley goes first, which makes sense because he's the captain of the watch, and Barnabas gets startled, right? Mm -hmm. So, so there's a scream. You guys all react, and then Cromley is up the steps. He kicks open the door. Steady watch, and just like runs inside, drawing his sword as he goes. What do you do? Uh... Um, we're tied. Do you want to go over first, or should I? You're acting at the same Pierce, time. Pierce, Pierce, Pierce is running for it, going. Yeah, Connie's also running in. Okay, so you both uh, run in. You both... Actually, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna run. Go. Okay, so you both you run inside, and it's one of those brownstones that opens into a hallway. So you open. There's a staircase directly in front of you. the The hallway continues past the staircase. You can see like an open door back there. You can see like kitchen cabinet, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Halfway down the hall, on the right. There's a door that is closed, and then there's a door immediately to your left that is closed. You're taking stock of the situation. Cromley is paused right inside the door, trying to decide where to go. He starts to move, like, up the hallway past the stairs, and there's a crash room upstairs and shattering glass. Up we go. Okay, so you guys are going to get... You guys are going to get... Up Connie goes. You guys are going to yeah, get to the stairs before through. Cromley... Because Cromley has to turn around. So Cromley's going to be behind you, and Barnabas is going to be behind him. Pierce and Connie, okay. you're first up the stairs. You run up the stairs, um, mm -hmm. and the, the hallway splits into two, left and right. Um, you don't hear anything else immediately. None of the doors seem to be open. Uh, can I take a guess where the sound came from, or is it just anywhere? Like, maybe, perception. Uh, right? It wouldn't be perception because the sound has already happened. Right. This This would unfortunately be survival because it's tracking. Okay. Okay. Waiting for Connie's roll. Okay, you both you both think that it came from further over than the hallway that you were just in, so it came from the left. This okay. way. Back going that way. You go down that room. Um, there's two doors: one near you on the left, and one further down the hallway on the right, and then a window in, at the back. Uh, check you, one, I'll check the other. You hear Cromley, right. and you hear Cromley, like, coming up behind you. And Cromley is still shouting, right. like, uh, uh, fl Fling open the door, like, there as we pass it. If nothing's in there, keep going. Okay, so so he, he's shouting, like, Lady Horn Raven, where are you? The city watch is here. Like, um, and you throw open the door. It's, like, it's a bathroom. Nobody's in there. Okay, go, keep going. Go to the far yeah. door. You throw it open. The window has been shattered. The window is gone. It's a bedroom. There's glass all over the floor. Um, the old woman is, like, sitting on the bed in, like, you know, day clothes, right? Um, she's white as a sheet, and she's just screaming, it's back, it's back. I'm sending my familiar out the window immediately to see what I can see. Okay, send your familiar out the window. We'll catch up to you. Cromley, like, runs over to her. Um, Connie... Are you all right? Are you injured? Okay, Connie, you run over to her. Barnabas is right on your heels, Pierce. Um, so when you, like, send your familiar out, um, Barnabas, like, puts his hand on your shoulder, and he gives you that look, like, that that wizard look. He's like, I know what you're doing. I'll guide you. Okay. I, I trust I trust whatever he's doing. Okay. Yeah, he's just, like, you feel him, like, physically touching. He's, like, got his hand on your shoulder, and he's, like, guiding you around the hallway. If you want to, like, yeah. switch to... to you know, yeah, sky cam. Yeah. Okay. So, you, your familiar has your stats, right? Yes. Make a perception check. I want to. Uh, I want to use my uh, inspiration to reroll that. Okay. Uncheck the inspiration and reroll. Mhm. Mm Oof. Uh, I have to roll against that. Good news is, doesn't have a bonus to stealth. Okay. You don't see anything. You're, you're familiar with, like, scanning about, circling the building quickly. You don't see anything. 
Meanwhile, back inside, Cromley is like saw you run over to her. He like backs up really quick because you mentioned you were a healer to him. He knows you're a healer. Uh, so he backs up. He's still got a sword out and he's looking around. And and like he, you see him coming out of the corner of your eye. He makes contact with Blastwind, sees that he's like guiding Pierce, and then Cromley starts like moving towards the window, like to like go out. Mm. Um, to you, uh, Connie, seated before you is an old woman. Uh, you saw her previously, but you sh like she was dressed to go out for the day, right? Noble lady out right. for the day. Now. All of the trappings of high society are gone, and she is a scared old woman who is in hysterics. Right. Um, she's like 70-some, and apparently someone just assaulted her. She does not appear to be injured, but if she doesn't calm down, she's at risk of, like, you know, overworking right. her heart. Right, okay, so she's, uh, she's, uh, so Connie is in, like, um... Connie's in like mom mode a little bit. Like it's all right, you're all right. We're gonna hear, we're here to protect you. Make a medicine check to make sure that she's like not hurt. Yeah, she does not appear to be even like she doesn't even have like a mark on her wrist where somebody grabbed her. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine, Pierce. We'll we'll get back to you. Um. So yeah, she just she's just like in her, and she's like grabs you by the shoulders, and and I think she just says she says it's back it's back I saw the puppet it was here. Uh, okay. Uh, can 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 you describe it? What what did you see? What you did are it do? not getting a description out of her. Okay. I think she just she just says it, she says it jumped out the window. Uh. Actually, I think she says it jumped in the window. Is what she says. In the wind. In? Um, and Cromley is like got his like he's wearing armor, right? So he like puts his foot on the on the busted windowsill and looks out, and then he just like jumps. Blink blink, okay. Yeah, there, there's a there's a roof outside. Like he lands on a roof and just, he's he's, oh. he's taken off. Pierce, make another perception check. Uh at this point, okay. um at this point, uh are you listening through your familiar as well or only looking? listening as well okay so yeah, to you, you to you connie uh blast wind says um <sighs> avril is um, uh, uh, using his familiar to uh, excellent effect uh, where's the best place that i should leave him probably might need assistance you see uh i'll take care of him he's like standing in the doorway and he like gestures and i'm like you can't uh, see or hear us do I do the check? Yep, make your check. Yeah, I'll come get him and lead him over okay. to the... Okay, so Pierce, you, you feel it. someone else touch you and lead you forward. Uh, Barnabas nods, and he doesn't do the window gambit, but he turns and runs back up the hallway. Um, so, what's your familiar's name? I forgot. Uh, Lavina. Lavina. You see a glint of metal moving very quickly along the rooftops. It's faster than Avina. Uh, can I see what it is? Would it, I be able to recognize it? No. It it looks like it's humanoid, but it looks like it's made of bronze. Bronze humanoid. Yeah, and it's like it's big. It's real big and it's like moving real fast. Would I be able to make an arcana check to guess what that would be or something? This is not an arcana Can check, I'm afraid. It's a religion Ar check. Religion. Interesting. Oh no. Can I make that check still? You will have disadvantage. I can say definitively you have not seen its like before. Okay. Make a history check. I just, you don't have disadvantage. I just want to follow through. You have something. You have. S okay. You have seen something that matches the description. Now you need to recall where you saw it. Make a history check. Okay. Fair enough. The dice are in your favor. <laughs> that looks like something you saw in a textbook while you were at school. 
-hmm. about. Let me find it. Do, 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 do. I had it and I lost it. Where did it go? Where did it go? I had a handout for this. Hang on. Sorry. There's very specific information that I need to give you right now. I need to find okay. the handout. So just bear with <laughs> me for just a second. Boop. Here we go. Uh. Uh, I'm very curious what this thing is. You give me a second, you, and I will tell you. I did, like genuinely out of character. I'm super curious on what this thing we're after is, and I have to right? itch to find out. I mean, it should have shut. Ain't a flesh golem. <laughs> oh no, definitely now it's not flesh. When Oof. you said religious, my first thought was like golem because, like, you know. Okay, Waterdeep hosts a festival called the Day of Wonders. And that was depicted in, like, your anthropology textbook, right? Mm-hmm. When the cover in the, the black and white, like, portrait of the, uh, with the caption, Day of Wonders Parade, were these big humanoids, and it says, it said on it, um, automatons in Waterdeep for the parade of the Day of Wonders. It looked similar to what you saw, but you can't get a good look at this thing. That's the best you got. Okay. You also see Cromley running the wrong direction along the rooftops. <laughs> and there okay. is no way he's catching this thing. This thing moves like Barry Allen. This thing moves like, from what I'm understanding, this it moves thing faster than is Bray as speed. fast as Bray did when he's dashing. Oof, there is and no catching it. No, I, I was so quick. Yeah, can, but I, I know it's a faster brawn, than the black vapor where I ain't catching this thing on foot. It's a bronze automaton. Bronze or brass? Which one did you say? I said bronze. Bronze automaton. Typically found in the Day of Wonders. Yeah, you have seen something similar to it in your anthropology book in a picture marked Day of Wonders. Day of Wonders. Water Day and Day of Wonders. Sounds like a trip to the library is in need. Alright, I'm gonna pull back from my familiar because there's no way I'm catching it. Okay, so, so you like blink and Connie has set you down and she's tending to this old woman. You're back in the room. It's she's starting not... to calm down. Connie is good at her job. Yes. I have an idea of what it is, but I have no way of knowing for sure. Uh, uh, without research. I think I think she just says it's a demon, it's a demon. It came to kill me. It's classic ritual in response. Jeez. Right? Ma'am, that was cert Ma'am, that most certainly was not a demon. <laughs> it wasn't a demon, it was If she was if she wasn't hysterical, she would grump at you for that. It's an automaton, a metal puppet. She does not hear you. She's not hearing you. I, I'm saying this more. She's just like Connie staring now. vacantly, like at Connie. Automaton. Um, I haven't read the textbooks, but no. I am proficient in religion. Can no. I? No. Oh. Okay. That's uh, weird. It's... It's like a person made of metal. It can move all on its own. Do you really want to be saying this in front of the rich old lady with a heart condition? No, I do not. So I'm not going. To, I'm gonna. I'm gonna save all this for a conversation later. Okay. Okay. So do 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 we do we want to like dag and wipe then and like cut to a little bit later? Yes. Okay. So all we right. cut we cut to a little bit later, and Connie Pierce and Blastwind. Are outside on the on the steps of the brownstone, and we see. Oops. We see Sayeth come out. Sayeth Cromley comes out, and he closes the door. And he sighs and he says, "Nobles, I got a statement. She's all right. Good work, Miss Campbellson." Thank you. Not that she was injured. I 
caught sight of the puppet. Puppets! It's quite literally that. It's an automaton. Seemingly out of brass, I believe. They look at each other. I was able to get a look at it with my familiar. It was moving way too fast for any of us to catch it. Crumbly, have you seen its like before? No, sir. The... Sounds like I, some kind was... of monster. It's... There was... Where I studied, there was a textbook on Waterdeep, and one of the things was a day of wonders. Barnabas takes and out his notebook and, like, makes a point to, like, silently ask you for permission before he starts writing. He's just, nods. like, look, looking at you, yeah, so you nod and start writing. Um, and there were automatons similar to that. I'm familiar with the day of wonders. It's sponsored by the Temple of Gond. Yes, I'm not sure who this automaton is tied to, but I feel our best uh, best opportunity is to ch start there. Yes, I quite agree. I'll, um, with your leave, Avril, I will take this information back to the back to the Hall of Justice. I've had quite enough excitement for one day. Yes. Meanwhile, um, I, another... I think I should make for the Temple of God at once. We'll be joining us. For... For... One thing I should make mention of. She said it's back. This is the same thing she saw before. This is what caused the fireball. Cromley looks at Blastwind... Um, and they, they share a look for a second, and then, and then Cromley nods, and Blastwind writes something down. Um, and, uh, and Cromley says, uh, right, double time then. Will you be joining me? Yes, yeah. of course. And then, got a sword in his sheath. And, like, and he does that thing where he, like, puts his hand on the pommel of his sword to steady it as he, like, yeah, jogs up the street. Uh, before, in one before Pierce goes to leave, he holds out his hand and his bird flies down and lands on it. I assume you already had it. Oh, uh, like, I just kind of wanted to do that bit for... <laughs> okay, yeah. I think, I think as uh, as you go to follow follow Cromley, um, Blastwind, like, gives you gives you the, the wizard bro nod, and he starts going in the opposite direction. So you guys make so, your way. Go ahead. So, just while we're walking. Mm -hmm. Well, this answers the what, but it leads why to is... why. Yeah, why is still in question. It, she, who knows? And, maybe this thing did throw the fireball, but why would it be back? Yeah. If it was to keep her from talking, what would she even know? She's too hysterical to know to tell us anything now. We can't presume that that was not entirely the point, my friends. You're right, this could be just fear tactics. Where the fuck is the sea ward? <laughs> what? I'm looking for the sea ward while you're talking, I'm sorry. Did you mishear that? <laughs> That's a yes. There it is. <laughs> and there's the last death save. I made that last death save a while ago. I think it got resurrected and then failed two more. So yeah, so you guys are heading over here to the House of Inspired uh, yes. Hands. Or, so House of Inspired Hands. Yes. Um, so Cromley says, um, well, those are questions that we're not getting out of our witness, but perhaps someone at the Temple of Gond knows? Maybe. Honestly, and I told you this before, this entire situation seems odd. I can't find a motive anywhere. The motive's yet to be found, but we can't just say that this didn't happen. Hmm. Well, the Temple of Gond is in the Sea Ward. It goes by the name of the House of the Inspired Hands. Hopefully we'll find more information there. 
hopefully. That's what we have Sorry. right now, right? Sorry, one Hope. second. Uh... Temple's called what now? Uh, the House of Inspired Hands. I'm just reading a thing. Out of curiosity, Kit. Mm hmm. I saw this thing running across the buildings. What direction did I see it running towards? Like, I, I know I have a general feel for that. Like, um. Water deep. You had a bird's right, eye view, point. literally. I think it was running north. North? From mm. which point? Uh, doo -doo -doo. she would have been in the upper district of the city, so she would have been like probably somewhere around here, the Golden Serpent Street, probably. That seems like a good, a good like rich neighborhood. So it went north. Yeah. Towards Trollskull Alley, hmm. which is there. And yeah, then, and then you guys are heading over here. We're no match for that thing anyway at the speed it was going. Nope. Oof. Not without Braden, at least. Not without Braden, speed, or socks and rock strength. We'd probably have to catch it by surprise or something. Maybe set a trap, but how would we do that? You realize Cromley is, stand is like walking with you guys. Right. Just checking. Uh, I was... Sorry, I was speaking about out of character mechanics. Mm. Like, you, guys... you know, 90 feet around, whatever. So you guys, like, are walking to the Temple of Inspired Hands with, say, a Cromley, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. I think that's a good yep. time to cross fade again. And crossfade this time back to Rockham. So we haven't touched on Rockham in a bit. Mm -hmm. So Rock, you were making your yeah. way back to Rashal's. Yes. And as you, you go inside with the grocery set on the counter, Rashal is now up and around and working. Um, and he's just like writing notes on, on something. Uh, and you come in and, and he looks up and, and he smiles. And he says, ah! Yes, uh, quite timely. Uh, thank, thank you so, so much. You, you got everything on the list. No, no trouble. Excuse me. No trouble. Uh, none at all. It was. I mean, I think everything's here. He's gonna. He still has the piece of paper, so he'll handle yeah. them. And mm. I think each next one is like a piece of charcoal that has been like stricken across. Yeah. The right. Totally. And he looks in the bags and he, he nods. Yes, yes, yes. I, I do believe you. You've acquired everything that I need, uh, for some few days yet. Uh, did you make it to the bent nail? Not yet. Mm. Well, I, I would hope that, uh, that just, well, um, the, the, the trip to the bent nail is for you, so uh, I, I, I do hope that you don't, don't shirk it, since I, I do need you again tonight. Uh, at, 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 at any rate, um, oh, um, uh, Miss Marigold came by, said uh, that, uh, that uh, she got my my missive, and wanted to uh, speak with the lot of you post haste, so I sent her directly to uh, to Troll Skull Manor. Right, she's uh, talking with Lawrence as as I'm talking to you, actually. Ah, wonderful! And Rashal looks rather pleased with himself. I think he kind of you know looks over the groceries and. Or she's like starting to like pick up the bags and like go into the back, yeah. and he says. I, do do help yourself to uh, to uh, a few uh, shiny silver coins from the from the till. I'll be right out. <laughs> no, no, thank you. And yeah, I think he'll look around. Yeah, there's a lockbox on the counter. There's, it's Rashal shop. You've been in here like a half a dozen times yeah. by now. I think he'll. He's not gonna take any silver from, but he'll look in it just to see how he's doing. I guess. Okay, what are you doing? 
He's just gonna look and see how much is in there, just curiosity. Uh, Rashal does go business, but at the same time, he's yeah. a bookseller, so like, yeah. eh, there's probably like a collection of copper, silver, and gold in there. Okay. I think he'll. He's not gonna take any. He'll close it and put it back. Okay. So he, he hears the he like the the the, the lockbox closes with a sound, and you hear you hear Rochelle say, uh, "Not too much now. Not that I don't appreciate your help, but uh, I need to be able to afford groceries next week, you know." I didn't take much. Thank you. <laughs> not. I I knew I could count on you and and your friends, the Nightlights. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, uh, you you met Miss Marigold, yes? He comes back out. It's like munching on a. He's probably she's, uh... munching on one of the lids of the milk bottles because it's yeah, metal. Yeah. <laughs> she was an interesting character. Mm -hmm. She's very uh, fast. I think is a good way to put it. Ah yes, um, um <laughs> rather accented. Her comment, I think, uh, much like yours, but in, from a different part of the world, of course. He pops the rest of the cap in his mouth. <laughs> I have a... Hmm, how do I put this? I can explain, but I have a thing I'd like to try if you have a room I can use for a few hours. Hours? He tilts his I head curiously at you, kind of almost avian. I have a... Uh, I had a pet with me that I lost recently. Yes, yes, I, I, I heard. The, the, the rather sizable shepherd. Yeah, and I uh, think I might have a way to return them to this world, as it were. Necromancy. Making a gesture as to like, no, God no. It's more of a uh, spiritual connection. Mm. And you need. It's theoretical. So. Time and study. I have some reagents if you require them. And I think he'd pout. He'd pat like a pouch to his side where he got the stuff earlier. You only got the kibble. You didn't get the herbs. Ah, uh, well. Like, he probably had that sack of kibble tied to his back. This is part of it, but I need to go grab some of the uh, herbs, as it were. Herbs? Ah, you want to go to Corellian's Crown, then? Right. Uh, fuck him. Hmm? I don't mean to intrude. But, uh, well, after all, I am chronicling your adventures. And it's as plain as the stone on your face, my boy. What's the matter? Kind of, I think his shoulders drop a little bit. We've hit a bit of a, let's call it a rough patch. Anyone there's I know? A, uh, there's just been disagreements in the group lately. No girlfriend. <laughs> no. That's it's about just... my fill of water Davian gossip, I suppose. Uh, what happened? Uh, with all the chaos lately, I think the stress has gotten to some of us. Chaos? Myself nothing! I, I mean, a fireball is no small feat for any conjurer to cast, and on your doorstep, no less. I, to watch asking questions, you overwhelm not being from the city, I'm... Honestly, I'm rather impressed. Yeah, I just... I'm trying to do some good where I can, I suppose. I'm certainly doing good here, huh? I just... I just... I worry, your... Your... Younglings. All of you. <laughs> uh, Rockham certainly doesn't feel like it right now. No older than... <laughs> than Zelophon. Well, uh... We'll get through it. It's just gonna be a rough couple days. I have no doubt. Nevertheless, I am... A skilled sage and a wizard in my own right. I have access to a great wealth of information and spell regents besides. If you've need of me. I just need to get the I'd herbs rather and... not face down a dragon or <laughs> gods forbid the black network, but on the whole, if you require something and you do technically work for me, I'm sure we can work out that employee discount, hmm? <laughs> if I think of something, I'll let you know. Yes. Uh, the thing I need most right now is Carol back, I think. Quite. Uh, to that end, uh, it's, uh, uh, 
It's a very technical term uh, wizards use for uh, this place for time and contemplation. Uh, a ritual is that a word that you've you've heard before? I think Rockham would know that word. Yeah, probably. And he'd nod. Yeah, something like that. Actually, I Tiny can... was using that word when she was talking about the trip. Yeah. I can prepare a, a, a ritual space in in one of my rooms upstairs. Rockham, just tell me what you need. Well, I'm trying to think how he would put it in character. Like, obviously, out of character, I can read the ability and know what it is. Right, I mean, yeah. I'm trying to think how he would put it. I just need... If it's not necromancy, what is it? I'm curious. It doesn't specify. Like, I can link the thing. Resummoning? <laughs> It, it's literally just an ability. It's a summon. Yeah, right. it's the bottom two paragraphs. It's the same thing as conjuring your familiar, basically, just on a bigger scale. Yeah. Ah, I was about to say that. Yeah. Huh. Just I'd call, it, an I'd call it summoning an animistic uh, familiar. Yeah, if basically. Anything you could say transmutation, but. No, it's definitely conjuration. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Because you're I summoning the thing back. If I, yeah. if I remember the description right, you are literally taking Caro's soul. And bringing it forth in the form of a familiar. Uh, no. No. Brightwind has Caro's soul. As yeah. as a ranger with his spirit bonded companion, when Caro died, effectively, if somebody used like spirit vision on Rockham, he would see Rockham's soul and Caro's soul. So he's just giving Caro a new body. Correct. Yeah. Caro technically cannot die on or not, 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 like oblivion death, right? Like yeah. cannot face oblivion yes. unless Rockham releases that spirit or dies himself. Yeah. Sounds a lot yeah, like a uh, uh, necromancy to me. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's not necromancy unless Pierce's unless Pierce's bird is necromancy. <laughs> Right. This is... It's a very specific, like, yeah. necromancy is not, like, all things that, necromancy always deals with death, but not all things that deal with death are necromancy. Fair enough. But isn't Pierce's bird just an extension of his soul? That's what, that's what Caro's soul is at this point. Yeah, fair enough. Until I replace Caro, is it worth as bad as it is? Is it? Think of it like, um, this is a really, really good example. Think of it like a Digimon partner. Yeah, uh, that's that's a good way to put it. Except if you release it, it dies permanently. I, again, <laughs> did, I didn't say Pokemon. No. Wait, Digimon partner. Digimon? Yeah, Digimon, uh, like, if, if, if something happens to the to the tamer, they die. Apparently, <laughs> I, I need to rewatch Digimon. Yep. <laughs> but that's yeah, why I said Digimon. Agree. I think he'll say right, uh, this. Sorry. <laughs> I was just gonna say if I think right, this classifies as solo class D, something like that. Can't it, remember the it, word. It's it's a conjuration ritual, effectively. Yeah, I'm more or less making a vessel, and Caro is the one putting its own soul into it. Correct. Well. I'm opening the door, and Caro's walking through it. Correct. Yeah, uh, you're not yeah, alchemy. From the yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. So, it's me, hopefully I don't now, now I want fan art. Get on this internet. I want fan art of Rockham <laughs> standing in front of the fucking obelisk from Fullmetal Alchemist. Right? Except instead of instead of Al, it's Caro. Right. <laughs> Get on that internet. <laughs> my dog back takes an arm. Fuck. Yeah. I don't know if I roll an Al. No, I mean, uh, I mean, I is this a, you, you, you joke, Delta, but now you're in Shadowrun. That's a thing in Shadowrun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think he'll reply with just, just a room. Third and... campaign and the horizon, what? <laughs> <laughs> right? Just Go ruin myself and have a few hours of peace and quiet. Of course. Uh, of course. Uh, if you find that you require additional assistance, I have a great deal of resources. Just nothing terrible. This was no mithril, right? Nothing... No adamantine, no no holy water, no no phoenix down or the like. I knew what one of those things was. <laughs> 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 but no, just some space is what I need. I shall have it when you return. He nods and I think of that he'll turn to leave unless 
it was further conversation. Yeah, no, I think I think and he just nods and like watches you go and then turns back to his, his writing as you like close the door. Yeah. So you, you make your way to Grillian's crown. I think we what? I said yeah, off to Grillian's. Okay, and sh switch over to uh, Pierce and, or not Pierce, sorry, uh, Lawrence and uh, and uh, Marigold. Um, I think I think we fade back in on. Like, has his has, has he warmed to Marigold at all? Are you guys just, like, telling jokes at this point? Or is she nattering on in the background and Lawrence is just, like, looking out the window wistfully? It's probably the latter because this is Lawrence we're talking about here. He hates leaving work undone. And the fact yeah. that Brockham dragged him off for this... All Lawrence can think about is there's work to be done, there's orders to be finished. You know, uh, Rashal asked for those for those locks. I got to take care of that. So, so you're staring out the busted window, out over Troll Skull Alley. We can vaguely hear Marigold in the background, and then audio cuts in, and she goes, "Did I have everything right?" And Lawrence has been listening mm -hmm. and probably correcting her. As, mm -hmm. as she goes, mm -hmm. but you know he'll he'll still nod and say, "Yeah, that sounds like most of it." And she slips her her pencil in her notebook and closes it up. Uh, have you signed the paperwork yet? Uh, no, because I wanted to have you know Pierce and Connie sign it as well. Okay, it, I mean she it's closes it up been a says, while. All right, then uh, I'll just need the release forms and I'll be on my way. And Lawrence looks the papers over and says, and, you know, just gives me a little glance. Mm -hmm. And sighs and said, I really wish the others could be here to sign, to look these over and sign them as well, but uh, I guess you have a job to do and I have to get back to mine. So, you know, he's, he will sign them. Yeah, you sign them, pass it to her, she nods. Thank you very much for your cooperation, Mr. Pegasus. And, you know, he's just going to go hard asses. Just out of reflex. Oh, yeah. He's probably been doing that every time. Oh, yeah. No, no doubt. And she, she takes the papers from you and, like, slips them back into her coat. And she nods. And she says, right. Have a nice day. And she, like, starts skipping towards the door. And Lawrence will, uh, you know, wait until she leaves. Mm hmm And then go over to the dust on the bar. Mm-hmm. And just write, sorry, Leaf. <laughs> yeah, right. So as you're writing, like Leaf, like appears like a forced ghost on the other side of the bar, and just like no audio, right? Pantomime right. sigh, and then gestures around the bar, like, come on. Uh, you know, Lawrence will. You know, he's probably got pen and paper. Mm -hmm. uh, and he'll write out uh, got the quote renovations coming we'll be cleaning after work today do uh, you feel a tug on your pen I mean I'm gonna you know let it go for okay a so you let it go and the pen floats in midair uh, Leaf kind of like appears around it um, and, he, and he writes on the paper he says um, there was a fight while you were gone um, the the red haired never ember Sawcom and Brayton got into it. Brayton ran off. And Lawrence is going to swallow and nod and and just write. I expected as much. To leave right. Um, you know about the fireball. And it'll be... We're still investigating. Um, we're looking into things. Connie and Pierce are looking, looking around at info. And hopefully we'll find out what happens soon. Uh, Leaf writes, um... Don't need my help, then. Do you have any ideas? 
<laughs> he writes, I saw the Zent get roasted. Wow, I'm trying to not be too incredibly dark right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but my first instinct is, what were the expressions on their faces when they died? Yeah, right? Wow. <laughs> like I said, I'm trying not to be too dark here. You can ask him. I wonder if no. they were smiling. Uh, he'd probably just say, did you see anything else? Uh, he says, um, he, he says, uh, two of them went up. The, the last one limped away like a, like a whip dog. There's a survivor. Interesting. Rainy already told you about that. Oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, did we have a conversation about that a couple minutes ago? Yes, we did. Yeah. Uh, but mind you, Rainier only name, name drops to me, and then when everything went down, I walked out. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. So, let's see. Because I know Leaf has been around for a while, mm -hmm. but you know, he's been kind of bound to trolls. Yep. So he probably uh, he'd probably ask, don't suppose Erstal Floxum means anything? And he writes um, Growlhund Villa. And Lawrence nods and says, yeah, that's what we got told to uh, ask around, so that's going to be somewhere we check out soon. Um, the, uh, pen, the pen pull, like tugs out of your hand before you finish writing, and Leaf writes, he took something off the gnome. Good on it. <laughs> I mean, I mean I, I was just going to just snap his head up and look at Leaf, and just and he's gonna take the pen back and all caps oh fuck two things how the fuck did we ask Leaf if he saw what happened I don't fucking I know <laughs> listen, I didn't know there was a door in the way listen we forget about not not everyone has a friendly the Casper has a friendly Casper in their house and, like, and secondly I, his I, 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 I forgot about Leaf <laughs> secondly this girl in villa sounds very important. We should probably go there at some point. Yeah, oh, you think? Like... <laughs> Here, I swear to God, you say that like, hey, we should go to the docks. <laughs> Five episodes later. We need no. to go to the harbor, guys. There's a dragon. <laughs> no, like... <laughs> this happened... How, how many NPCs... How many NPCs have said to the phrase, must have been terrible that that happened on your doorstep... Cat, yeah. go, I'm sorry. Stu. Cat, I'm sorry, we are idiots, but <laughs> at okay, least we're this has been more interesting. Speak for yourself. This, Are you this right? has been this has been more interesting for you, and you know it, Fox. I mean, yes, but also ghost <laughs> Stu. Hey, yes. Not everyone has a Casper the Friendly Ghost, and not everyone remembers they have a Casper the Friendly Ghost. Uh, and arguably, within you know. In universe time, it's been a day. Yes, Gracie. Like you forgot one of the most important maxims of GMing. No plan survives contact with the PCs. Oh, don't get me wrong. There, I, As you have seen, I have not been like, guys, I need you to do this this way this entire time. I'm mm -hmm. just, I was sitting here waiting for you guys to realize that you were being dunces. I mean, <laughs> and it is very appreciated. And Listen, I can't realize that if I know I'm doing it every day. Right, so... Lawrence is going to write up quickly, thank you, thank you, thank you, and underline a few times. Uh, I, th I think Lee Frank, thank me by fixing this place the hell up, it sucks. <laughs> working, uh, uh, working on it, got the quotes, it's just a matter of time. Philip like, looks, looks around. 
and right like less than two like less and, than two and, weeks. And, and i think i think also and, and then he writes um also comma <laughs> In all of your excitement, you missed the dragon, and then he makes a winky face. What? I. That would get a head tilt. Like, wait, what? So, so yeah, you look up at him. He like slaps his knee and starts laughing silently. I mean, lords are probably getting, <laughs> lords are probably giving him a finger, just like yeah, fuck you too. But he would absolutely be smiling at the same time, just like all right, all right, fair enough. I think I, I, so, so I, I think I think Leaf like like takes the paper, crumples it up, and like throws it amid the detritus, and then just like makes a shooing gesture, like go, go. Yep. yep. So Loris is probably going to tear ass out of the manor okay. and run over to Rashal's to grab to grab Rob. Okay, so you tear out so <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say so Rob, you come out, start making your way to Corellian's crown. You have to pass uh, the steam and steel to do that, which is right beside Troll Skull. Mm -hmm. It's Troll Skull. So yeah, you probably run into like you, as you're like turning to go towards Corellian's crown, you hear the door of the manor smash open. Lawrence comes running out. Lawrence, you see him <laughs> walking up the street. <sighs> Rock, find your brother. Find Connie and Pierce. Uh, we saw the fireball happen. We need to go to Grawlhund ASAP. I'll make amends with Master Ember and Master Avi, but we need to figure this out. Quick. Well, that's all well and good. I have no idea where they are. They could be anywhere in the city. We could, we, I mean, I could try going by and see if Dernan's seen them. And, and Lawrence doesn't know that Rock doesn't have his horn. No. So he, <laughs> look, he looked Rock over like, where's your horn, man? Sockham has it. Fuck! <laughs> Right, um... And shit. so now it's a matter of getting everyone together. Look, in this way... Something, something getting the band back together. It's yes, almost sir. like I'm steering you guys in the correct direction, gently. <laughs> Ket GM, best GM. I go. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put this lightly. There's a chance no one's gonna see Stockholm until tomorrow. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I, boy, just so wait actually, till we get on, our on, 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 so so you're like, where's your horns? Like, I give it Sockham. Fuck, you guys are like standing around, like not sure what to do. And I think we fade over to Sockham and Brayton. Hey, <laughs> speak about OC. So, just to recap, the plan was we go to we go to this place, scope it out during the day, then the re then all of us go at night, right? I was... would prefer only two of us go at night, so that it's less. You know, let like, knock everyone out and let like, sneak through. Right. I mean, I'm good well, at sneaking, but I'm gonna need some backup if shit goes wrong. Yeah. Um. Preferably the guy that could probably punch a hole, a hole through a wall. I mean, I kind of did do that. So. You nearly did. Give that a bit more anger. I mean, do you remember what I did to those trees when we were kids? I. Yeah, she nearly dropped one on my head. Okay. Thanks for that. That wasn't the point. <laughs> ah, classic. You know I feel bad. You know I still feel bad about that. That's not fair. But, yeah. We can head there. Um, if you take the horn, you can call me when things get bad, and I can go... Uh, I can do the bear thing again, I guess. Yeah, that, that is a plan. I take the horn, I sneak in, if shit goes sideways, I blow it, you come running in. Good plan. I also need to go to the theater later. You gonna join me for that? Probably shouldn't, that's, that's gonna be a lot of Harpers. Do, I well join you. There's probably shouldn't, gonna be a lot of Harpers. And they don't know anything yet, so shush. That's true. At the first sight of Rainier, if he's there, you run like hell though, yeah? Or just don't let him see me. Or just don't let him see you. Or tell him to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dude, I there's mean, bigger fish to fry here! What exactly. is your passive perception, both of you? I have... I have... Hold on, I gotta open my do, do we get to hear Brandon's sneaky music? Uh, I not yet. Later. Oh. I love that music. <laughs> it's good music. 
It's real good. <laughs> That's perfectly. This is this is the party's theme in a major key, by the way, because you guys made successes. Oh, really? You haven't caught oh. it? I used this theme for the party, but this is the major key version. When we do like, good, That's I can't cool. Hear it. Huh. That's yeah, really, really, really good. Perfection. Perfection. Pass, I, passive perception, I, 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 boys. I, I had said it. It's 11. 11? It's 12. 12. Okay. I'm going to roll against that. Because uh, that is low enough for me to roll against. Fuck. Boop. Mm -hmm. Pop. If we're lucky, it's the Viper. If it's if we're unlucky, it's some other schmuck. Okay, so both of you hear a creak from outside the door and a very quiet, God damn it! And then a note slides under the door. <laughs> I Braden let puts a finger to his mouth, points at the door, and like makes a grabbing gesture. And puts a hand on a hand on the handle. Okay. And let like, nods to sock him. Hang on, hang on. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck that means. <laughs> I, I like I like it. I like this better. Make an intelligent saving throw. Oh no! Actually, there, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. There's a skill for this. Insight. Yep. Aha! Uh -huh. Thank God, something I have proficiency with. <laughs> what you were saying um so yeah i think so Brady, you do that you make a bunch of like sam fisher hand motions at him put your hand on the door and Salkum just goes uh <laughs> oh, we... <laughs> if it, if it just very up. quiet just very quietly do you want me to kidnap them <laughs> For fuck's sake, open the door and grab whoever's there, if there is someone. Ah. No, Brayden does that, he doesn't say it loud. Oh. Oh, you just you just do you, it? You, you took too long, you okay. fucked up, you said it out loud. Okay, make an athletic <laughs> check. Hey. Okay. You throw open ah. the door, jump out in the hallway, and the like serving maid carrying the towels just like screams. <laughs> can I yoink his ass back in here? <laughs> yeah, you certainly can try. <laughs> yes. Um. If he succeeds, because he I'm not going to resist it. He doesn't because your bonus is higher. Okay, I was going to say it right. So it's a, yeah. So you jump out. The, the the maid that's like changing out the bathroom towels just like screams and then Sokka puts both of his hands on your shoulders from the dark room so she screams again and then and then screams for Gurnan <laughs> that, sorry my bad thought you were someone else and that goes back in okay to so get pulled back in um you do hear running footsteps outside and then because Gurnan can't be quiet you hear <laughs> what happened Marty and then just but like from the room, just hear brain go, my bad. <laughs> so, so I think, I think you don't hear anything, and then you just hear knock, knock, knock. <laughs> so I just opens the door. Sure she plays, I'm sorry. Darren is standing I... there with his fucking gladios or gladius in one hand, just like staring at you. I, I think just like head down, not even looking at. I'm just head down, looking at the floor. Just like I'm sorry, didn't mean to scare her. My bad. I think, I think, I think preemptively I think, pulled it, out of platinum. I was about to say, in your field of vision, his other hand just comes out. <laughs> <laughs> so you give him just a platinum, quick. he takes it, stares at you for a second. Actually, I think he stares at you for a second, it completely deadpan. He goes, I told you not to come in this empty room, and just closes the door. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brandon. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck was that? <laughs> you understand why I'm on edge. Worst spy ever. 
<laughs> she right? fucked up the roll. She fucked up the roll, and Brayton fucked it up harder. Jesus. <laughs> you could have just read the note instead of trying to kidnap someone. What the actual fuck? <laughs> it's more. It's more fun this way. <laughs> and then later we found out the that the fact that I don't know what was the Viper really in disguise. Die. <laughs> It's like turns to Sockham, it's like for the simple fact I don't know if Rainier has said anything. I can't exactly be too careful. I mean, would Rainier say anything? He can't exactly become public, know. He's can he? Of... I don't fucking know, he's the son of Dagol, he could do anything. The watch is still trying to find him. My point exactly. <laughs> that is that is a thing, isn't not it? Not to interrupt, because I'm still angry with you, but it's not just the watch. I mean, um, I didn't say anything. Thank you, Azraj. <laughs> oh, what did they say now? They said not to... Azraj said, not to be helpful, helpful or anything, but it's not just the watch looking, and that's a fair point. I... You know, it makes sense well. if... Like, makes the tentacle face gesture and Zentarum are looking for him. <laughs> the mm. tentacle face gesture. I know exactly what you meant. I know 100% <laughs> what you meant, but that sentence is incredible. I'm sorry. I yeah. love how we've all been doing the Davy Jones <laughs> right? to refer to that. <laughs> and, we all, and we all know exactly what it and means. And we all know exactly what it means, as does every NPC is, you've done it in front of. This is yeah. this is officially a nightlightism. The, no, uh, this no is, that, that, that's it's the power really... that Xanathar wields, actually. Aye, for that's, the simple that's fact that you modern the name can make it to where it can kill you. There you go. <laughs> Brayden, just read the damn note. <sighs> this is the part where Brayden goes, there's a note? Because <laughs> 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 he's looking at you just... There's, there's a lot of those moments. You, bend down, you pick it up. It's, a, it's it's not even in an envelope. It's just a folded piece of paper. You open it up, and it's like it's a hastily like scrawled like note in like pen. Uh, it smells vaguely of lavender for some reason. Um, and it says like, <laughs> "You're really bad at this. Do are you sure you don't want me to take care of him?" I think he'll just let put it down, have that face of just c malcontent on his face, <laughs> and be like, "Can I just talk to my brother in peace, please?" What Fold it up, put it in his pocket. Don't worry about it, Sockham. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I have the terrible thought of "Don't worry about it. Sit down." Has the automatic response he has from Paul when he gets told that, and just flumps onto the floor. <laughs> so, so the sound of a body falling it goes through the in rooms of the yawning portal. Okay. Oh, darn it. You're right. <laughs> All right. I, 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 as they sit down, it would just like shrug and be like, so that would get in here and join in the conversation. Do you realize, Sockham, that you are just shy of a large creature, and with Bear's blessing, you're even bigger? <laughs> <laughs> so when you just <laughs> down, it was it's like, like a horse it, falling over. Yeah, it's like a horse falling over. Oh my god! I guarantee you, I guarantee you, the camera cuts to the in room of the yawning portal, <laughs> and some dude just gets like ceiling spackle dropped into his beer, and he just looks up. Guarantee <laughs> that happened. I have a counterpoint Ooh. to all of this. What? Well, one way it's to the masters. That's my counterpoint. What's your counterpoint? It's Sockham. I mean, fair. But I, as like both of us sit down, he like shrugs, and it's like it's either that or get in here and join the conversation. Who do you say that to? It's like the room because obviously the Black Viper is listening. <laughs> okay. Um. <sighs> She's a fucking edge lord. Hang on. Of course she's, she is. She's, she's a black vice she's impersonator. Real, she's real fucking bad. Okay. So I think I think you're like you're like, or you could just come in here and talk to us. And like sigh. And you inhale to go like say something to Sonko and another note slides under the door. 
God damn it. Of course. Because <laughs> she's course. a fucking edge lord. Wait, <laughs> how quickly does warrior. she write? Wait, how quickly does she write? She you'll, know you'll, 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 you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> does it just say no? Does it just Bray say no? <laughs> Brayden is sitting down, it looks at the door, it looks at the note, and just goes, he already knows about you, you men as well. It's like the axe, but make a notes. persuasion check. <laughs> I wish I had fucking inspiration for this. I would use it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I've look, got an uh, awful idea. Other people can give you inspiration. Just saying. I mean, if you I've want got... my inspiration, there you go. I, okay. So persuasion with advantage then. <laughs> I don't have a okay. use for it. So go for it. Uh, uh, fucking. I'm gonna just. I'm just gonna. Fucking, I'm just gonna fucking do this, and we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh That's about right. So, so you, so you say, you say, so say, so say it again. It, you may as well just come out, and he already knows about you. Okay. So, <laughs> so, so, I think Azure Edge says, "See, you're not the only one who does it." <laughs> and <laughs> and Britain is just staring at the door. The music like gets real serious for a second, and then the latch just like slowly turns, and the door <laughs> opens a, like just a little bit, like a whisper, and then it flies open, and a fucking ninja jumps into the room and like somersaults. The fucking wow! Ears. And I thought I was over the top. I as soon as she lands, it just <laughs> yeah, looks so, out, like lands, the kicks the door closed, comes up. She's holding a short sword and a dagger in the assassin's grip. Um. Oh, and then you're both just like sitting on the floor. It's like a scene from Shrek. <laughs> and, Way and... too flashy for your job. She's like... I don't think she says anything. I think she just sheets the, the, the two weapons on her belt, crosses her arms, and just drops to the floor. And I cue another piece of spackle falling down into someone's beard. <laughs> she is substantially lighter than Salcom. Yeah. It's just she, like, does, she does the airbender thing where she, she where she sits down and slow falls somehow. Yeah, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Totally. All right, now we've got that out of the way. You were saying so. I was. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we're going to stake out. Right. Uh, I have a thing to do, and then we're going to go stake out. Uh, uh, Grunt Dog Hound. Palace. I Grohl Hound. Dog Palace. Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> I think just very I exasperated eye roll. Growl Hound Villa. Yeah, that the Dog Palace. Um. Don't worry, it's the, like this the entire time she keeps looking over at Brayden. All you can see are her eyes, but the whole time she's going, This fucking guy, really? Him? Not me? This guy, really? You're gonna work with him? I'm right here. Like the whole time she's just screaming at you silently. <laughs> and she's, Brayden's completely ignoring her. <laughs> right, just yeah, perfect. Like she's petulant little Fair sister, though. perfect. It's so good. <laughs> I mean, this might be great. If we have Miss Viper here, then we'll be able to keep you away from Rainer even better. Um, you do like she's assuming with the harp, yeah. What? Slowly reaches for Azure Edge. <laughs> I'm not a harper. Don't worry, she already knows. Oh. Like, we're pretty oh, much okay. all on the same page here. Mostly. Oh. oh, fuck. Why'd you scare me? Because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Assuming she wants to help keep you out of sight like that. You can I told him where to go. Reason. I don't know what he's doing here. Well, he's here because he almost it, got arrested it, like, by Rainer. Up and looks over at Ernest like you said, wait a couple of days. And she just, like, she does the full, like, palms to the ceiling shrug. <laughs> Believe it or not, oh. before this bumbling dumbass came in, I was going to try and find you. Sounds like that one's on you, Viper. I think, yeah, I think, I think, God, she's so fucking, okay. 
Okay, Viper, I need you to make a charisma saving throw and for the love of God, pass it because I don't want you to be this stupid. <laughs> I swear to God. Okay, nope, she failed. So, oh, God, no. okay. so, so you say that, and she jumps up onto her feet, like pirouettes, draws the weapons again, and poses, and she says, Don't you know by now that I find you? Shut Fuck down. You already off. gave me my name. God, you are terrible. I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, Brayden just looks at her squints and goes, Just sit down. You already gave me a name. Azure Edge, please tell me the original Black Viper wasn't like this. <laughs> the original Black Viper is dead. That's a child. Yes, I know. I'm, I'm begging you, please tell me that they didn't act like this. Is he talking to an axe? Yes, yes, I'm talking to an axe, damn it! The axe is a wonderful person and my mentor. <laughs> if you can see her face, she was making the Emma Watson terrified smile face. And she's looking at Brayden. Um, like, he's, he's insane, isn't he? He's, he's crazy. This I, is Azure Edge, so damn it! Hold on, looking at Sockham, it, like Brayden like, says to you, well, as Edge needs to step up, step up his game because it seems to not be helping. Ooh. I think, I think, I think as your Edge just starts strobing and you, you get the, you get the magical equivalent of the internal monologue of like, like, hold me back, Sockham, I'm gonna fuck him up, like, you better hold me back, like, just the whole, like, three tequilas too no, many not, hold me back rant. Hold you back. It's not holding back, it's just hold him. Axe. Yes. Maybe Azure Edge would be more helpful if you would quit hurting their feelings. You've done enough of that without my help. I, I mean, the, the swords <laughs> have disappeared. The swords are back in their sheath magically, and she just gestures and sock them. Like, what the fuck are you? Like, she's completely out of her depth with this. She's like, what is even happening? She's doing yes. this again. Hang on. She's doing the sharp yes, wife. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, this is the night lights. Welcome to the group. No. <laughs> and also, I have a no. Terrible... And also, and she points at Sockham. No. I have a terrible thought. Good. You always do. Brayden also has a terrible thought. Her name is the Black Viper. Um... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Well done. Go on. Uh... Sockham just looks at her, deadpan, straight in the eyes, and says, We're gonna get this out of the way right now. I can turn into a werebear. <laughs> oh, dear God. I will not give you an explanation because you will not understand it. Just understand that's a thing I can do. Okay, and if you join okay, us, you okay. You're tempting fate. She's making an insight check. Yep. But, but he will give her disadvantage because she's going to agree. He's so dead. He's so That's not how that works. It's, so it's inside blind. answer wisdom. I always get this confused. It's wisdom. Okay. He, the funny thing about this is he's so deadpan that <laughs> you don't know if he's bullshitting or not. I yeah, can turn into don't. a werebear. I can turn into a werebear. You don't get to know why because you won't understand. Just know you might get to see it if you join us. I think I... he's trying to tempt it to join. <laughs> Joined out of the cool factor so, at this so, point. So she does the thing that you have seen, like, Tristan do, Brayden. She reaches for something on her belt that's not there. And she's like, instinctively just reaches for it. With her other hand, she points at Takam and says, No! And then, <laughs> very, very subtly, she realizes that her hand is not on the thing she reaches for, and she goes, Damn. I'm not a like him, girl. Do you even know what that is? <laughs> I, I I heard the word. Um, I love the idea that, that Azure Edge just said he's not a lycanthrope. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then Sokum said I'm not a lycanthrope. That's, yes, that. That's what Brayden looks at and like, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Listen, Azure Edge said it. I'm just saying it out loud. I'm not because it's true. I hope I don't know this what that axe is. I, going to get did I just in insult so myself in Water Davian? <laughs> did I did I just call myself a Water Davian slur? I doubt that. But don't say it to anyone else because it might get you killed. That's that's fair. <laughs> and so like she does the Jack Sparrow thing where she like 
touches a finger to where her lips would be, points at you, touches a finger to her lips again, and then just goes, Stop talking! Stop it! Just stop talking! <laughs> just, just stop! <laughs> just I'll, make you, I'll make you a deal. Psychic damage. If I'll make I you a deal. Talking, if you join us. Like you're saying too much, or is it stop talking? I'm done with your bullshit. I'll bull yes. make you a deal. If you join us, I'll stop talking for the rest of the time in this room. So, in Thieves' Cant, to you, she says, Tell him to stop talking, or I'm going to stab him in the throat. <laughs> I, look I, wouldn't at how, I wouldn't know how you say that in Thieves' Cant. I don't fucking know, but she says it. I usually <laughs> make stuff up like. The sparrow is going to be red on the morning. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Aye. I, but it's not I, I, I guarantee it's not sparrow, though. She says cockerel. I guarantee she says cockerel. Aye. Oh. For and that extra edge. And then there's something about stairs and plates. Yes. Hey, so shut up a minute so that I can try and explain what we were going to do. Listen, I was just having fun. I've got no problem stopping. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. So, so, she, so she turns this fully to on. you, and she, Thanks. but to you, Brayden, and she says, No, but seriously, is he like a throw? Whoop. No, Anyone but seriously, now? is he a like a throw? Right. Discord decided to die on me, though. No, but seriously, is he a like a throw? <laughs> Looks at her, looks back at Sockham, looks at her again. I honestly have no idea. So in, in Thieves' Cant, she says, that's really dangerous. I mean, probably. <laughs> she makes the same gesture at you that she made at Sockham. Just why? I there, can, I there's can like a I can... hundred of these from her. Yes! I can tell you the story of how it happened if you think you can figure out whether I am or not. Stop! I don't think any. Talking! I, so, just shush. We've gotten off track as is. Can we explain what we're going to do? First. Unless you already heard. I need to know if he's going to turn into a wolf and eat me. A wolf? No, that would be rock. Eat you. <laughs> oh my god! Eat you. I can tell either you. Of I can tell you, only if I get angry. Because as far as I can oh tell... Gemzy as far shuts up. <laughs> Sockham, <laughs> shut the fuck up, otherwise you will end up with a dagger in your neck, and it won't be from her. I thought I had muted it right there, that's on me. <laughs> I double click the button. I'm not going to use the dagger. Oh. <laughs> as far as I can... As far as I can tell, they both have full control while they're... Like gestures at them, like them. Native born. <laughs> Interesting. Right. What did you say? She said native born. Interesting. Next point. Him? Really? What? I think she just More gestures. Please. She just gestures at Sockham, like all of it. That. I mean, he's good at punching stuff when I can't. I just, I think and now that you and go ahead, you can only see her eyes. Yet somehow she's able to convey incredulity. Go on. I think I think her brow is brow is furrowed just a little bit, and her eyes just show like a hint of disgust. Yeah, and, right. And her dead does that tiny little like. Uh, jet forward. Right. Look. Do you remember the friend of mine? I. They have a place for me to go when I mess up, rather that, that is, or if I need medical attention. They are familiar. With the likes of people like us. You are not there, so I came looking for you. I, you didn't give me a location. I gave you a name. Right, I I kind of had to find somewhere that I knew was close by. 
Quality isn't that big. You're fast. Clearly, you don't know where I'm from. This place is massive. What? Th this this place is like ten times bigger than I'm used to. Just keep to the side streets. There's not that much traffic. And she like cocks her thumb over her shoulder, like duh. Yes, but trying to look for information is a lot more difficult. You could have said something. At the time, I didn't know I was going to get outed. <laughs> All right. Besides so, the point, let's it's... go. It turns back and looks at Sock and it's like we're kind of busy at the moment, though. <laughs> so you turn away from her, and behind your back, Sockham can see this, you can't. Behind your back, she makes the, like, really? You're choosing him? Like, gesture. Like, she's, doing a, she's, she's doing another sharp Y. Petulant Britain. girlfriend posture. I right, turn back just... to her, like, we might have a lead on a thing we're looking for. All right. I... Fine. If you have something to handle, you can meet me there. Okay, if you want to go to your audition thing, I can find out where this safe space oh, this, is. Oh, right, it's a bloody harbor. So he puts a hand to her face. Alright. That was established. They're not- And we can- <coughs> Excuse me! <laughs> we can <laughs> me meet up at the villa when you're done. Wait. You're gonna move on the ground, Hans? I'm not at the moment. We're gonna like, at least see what the place is like. You're not taking him? I mean, if things go wrong, having a bit of muscle won't be a mess. Things won't go wrong if it's the two of us. I, w I was going to get to that. You still need to go back to Troll Skull to report on everything. And oh. like, looks at Sockham before he gets to say anything. Well, I don't care if radio's there, he can suck it. In. Uh, we're the Nightlights, we all work together. <laughs> we're family. One more word out of you, and I'm stabbing you. <laughs> You're better than this. I mean, probably, but more people looking for information is more information. And they bumble around making noise, clanking armor, and banging shields. We can get much more information, just the two of us. You're really determined to, to move on this, aren't you? I think she stops talking and her eyes drift over to Salcom. <laughs> Thank you, Nightfall. She doesn't say Either anything. way. I. Either way, we need to wait till nightfall before we can even go near the place. Obviously. Do you have to wait for so, me for what? Right. Wait for nightfall before we can go towards the villa. Which gives us time so to pre prepare. Can... I've got floor plans, so guard rotations. <laughs> Brayden gets a look on him and is like, this is shit I was trying to tell you. <laughs> what? We were gonna go stick, not even stick at the place, go, like get an eye on the place before we moved on it anyway. We were gonna head back to Troll Skull, tell everyone else what we found, then move on it. Alright, Dumpy can get go do that and we can get a head start, anything. let's go! As your edge goes, she caught you, Dumpy. Hang on, wait, yeah, you just caught me, Dumpy? <laughs> I think she just turns her head and goes, she just turns her head and goes, stab? Yeah, I don't care, you called me Dumpy? Okay. Sockum 
take your petty grievances and for a minute. So good. Uh, so what's your armor class? Uh, fuck. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Nothing's working. <laughs> Fourteen. Okay. If she goes to stab him, Brayden's gonna grab her wrist and be like, "No." Okay. Yeah. No. So, so, so you go. You call me dumpy, and you just like, yeah, just like. We get we get the hyper zoom on her hip, and she like grabs her short sword, pulls it out in an assassin's grip, swing, and Brayton's rapier comes up and just deflects it. That's a bad idea. Why? It might be a Harper. I might be a Z. Uh, uh, Z. I Z. But we're still family. I think she sets her jaw. Aww. I think uh, yeah. I think she sets her jaw. And, like, you're, like, right in her face because you deflected a melee attack. Yeah. I think you you hear her say, um, like, to herself. She says, not like family's worth anything. Oof. Oh. I'm assuming only Brayden hears only that. Only Brayden heard that, yes. Okay. Like, she's not even aware well, she said it out loud. All right. Well, this big lug has yet to let me down. May, 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 may have fell a tree on me at one point, but he's yet he's always pulled through. My invitation was for you. Aye. And I'm going to accept it. You get the feeling that she said something in Thieves' Camp there. But you don't know what she said. Can I roll for it? No. <laughs> It's nothing you understand. Fair enough. And she sheets the, her short sword. She sighs. <sighs> Fine. Go see as... She looks at Salkum. My friend, before you move on Grailhund Villa, she'll have information for you. And I hope to meet you there. Maybe if you behave yourself. Oh, well, I can't promise too much. Does that window open? Looks back at it. It's Couldn't like tell two, you after the next It's like a two-foot gap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks at it. It's like, I don't think it will. Don't break it. I don't want old Dernan any more money. What? No, he's terrifying. Exactly. No, just... Fine, wait. And she turns around and, like, opens the door if and just, like, peers out with one eye and closes it again. Always clear, I'm not gonna get another chance. I'll see you tonight at the villa, then. Before tonight. I... Okay, I'll meet you at your friend's location. Mm-hmm. And she... Opens the door and slips out. <laughs> we, 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 as Salkum exhales, we, we crossfade over to, uh, Lawrence and, I think, yeah, Lawrence and, and, uh, and Rockham. And we'll do Temple of Gone starting next week. Okay. Okay. Alright. Oh, we didn't get Carol back yet. We're working on it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so Lawrence and, and Rockham, you're like still standing on the street. Yeah, anything Rockham mentions. Does this have to happen right now? The sooner the better, honestly. Um, apparently, the thing that we're all after got yanked. We saw it, so you might want to. Uh, Oh, get the others together. I'll talk to Master Enric and Master Avi, and you oh, do what you gotta. So. Before you go. Yeah. I think he kind of looks around and just basically making, seeing if any of the other in the group are around. And I assume they're not. No. Yeah. Everybody else is literally across town. Yeah. I... Before anything else crazy happens, I... I need to rest. I and didn't wanna you know, Lawrence would probably that, look but... look rock him up and down like he's falling asleep oh. on his feet. Yeah. yeah two levels of exhaustion. <laughs> and 
Lawrence nods and understands. He just looks like he didn't yeah. sleep last night. Yeah. yeah, just. I mean, Lawrence has been that exhausted. Mm -hmm. There's got. There's had to have yeah. been points. So it's been like. I still need to bring. Yeah, Kara go. Back, and then I need to get talk to Brayden, and, and then, then we'll figure things oh, out. There's so much to do. I know, man. We'll we'll deal with all of it. Yeah, I. I'm gonna do this ritual thing and maybe crash over Saul's place until you go to work tonight. Yeah, all right. Get some sleep. You look like hell. Thanks. Several of them at this point. And I think he nods and goes stumbling off to get his and, things done. And Lawrence, you know, runs off to the seam of steel to get back to work. Effort. Oh, and you're talking well, about? Yeah. Okay. And I'm off to Grailian. So we, we, well, we still, yeah, we... prob probably back to work and discuss with Amber Kenobi at while okay. he's working. We'll do that next week. So, Rock, yes. mm -hmm. you make your way to Corellian's Crown. Yeah. Um, make a perception check. You have disadvantage because you're tired. Yeah. Um, and for those wondering at home, I have disadvantage on ability checks and my speed is halved for the two levels of exhaustion. Yep. He wore himself out yesterday. Yeah, because I was working the, the bellows and then I stayed up on it. Yep. Right, this is the price you pay. Okay. You so I think I think yeah. Rockham like pushes open the door and the camera like lingers on the door frame as as Rockham walks in with on the, the closed sign on the door that you didn't notice because you're exhausted. <laughs> um, and you, you you step inside and you hear voices. You hear people talking, or at least one voice, uh coming from coming from the back room. You don't see anybody out front. Is there like a bell to ding or something? Uh, there's a bell on the, the door that you just ding when you opened it. Maybe they're taking care of something. I think they'll wait for a minute. Fala doesn't talk. True. You know Fala doesn't talk. Yeah, I'm just... Actually, yeah, there's a conversation, huh? Yep. He may be too tired to notice. Eh, uh, <laughs> Fala make... doesn't speak. That's pretty obvious. Like... You don't need yeah. if, if you know Fala, which you do, you don't need to make a check to be like, wait, Fala doesn't speak. Yeah. And I don't see Fala down here anywhere. No. Kind of looks towards the stairs. It's not upstairs, it's in the back. There's oh, like okay. a, a just like a, a beaded partition between the front showroom and the back alchemy lab. And then there is an upstairs, but the voices are coming from the alchemy lab. Gotcha. I think he'll go to the beaded curtain and like two fingers like separate. And... Is anyone here? Voices stop. Um. You see? Yeah, it's because you're right there. You see mm -hmm. the the big dude that was with Pierce and Connie. Huh. Okay. Like step into view, see you. And you see like recognition on his face, like, oh it's you. And oh, then and then Fala you. appears at his shoulder. Sorry to interrupt, I was hoping to get a couple things. Um, so the big guy starts to say, We're close and then Fala stops and like puts a hand on his chest, signs something, and then they both start walking towards you. Yeah, I'll like move out of the way. Yeah, then they, they come out. Um, and, and Fala, uh, signs something, and the big guy says, um, <sighs> Are you serious? And Fala nods and signs something, and, and he turns to you, the big guy turns to you, and he says, Welcome, right? Yeah. And you were Steve? Sure, let's go with that. I think he's too tired to try and remember. Yeah, right. And Does he, he give like, him some sort of bullshit? Like, co uh, cocks his thumb at Fala and says, I'm speaking for Fala. I'll go over at Fala. Fala. If I'm not mistaken with my memory, I believe the Mi Mike was the name that Siraj yeah, took. Mike was I know, the, I'm intentionally fucking it up. Yes. But he doesn't, <laughs> like, Siraj doesn't remember, so. And Rockham is too tired to. Yeah. Exactly. So Fala signs something, and Zaraj says, um, "Did you need? <clears throat> fuck! Did you need something, Rockham?" Yeah, I needed some uh, reagents for ritual. 
I mean, I have gold <laughs> if you're willing to sell. Yeah, Fala looks surprised when you say that and signs something, and it takes Zaraj a second to, 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 like, looks between the two of you and goes, <clears throat> Right, sorry. And then he, he does it properly. He, like, intones surprise, and he says, A ritual? For what? It's, uh... I kinda, he does that thing where he looks him over to see if he'll understand if he tries to explain it. Who, Zaraj or Fala? Uh, Zaraj. Like, <laughs> Zaraj, looks, the type who would Zaraj know looks like, to put it gently, a thug. <laughs> okay. He's Rock a big half orc in like a fucked up shirt with a yeah. big ass longbow on his back. Like, he looks like he's gonna. He, he looks like a hatchet man because he is. I've probably fought a bandit or two similar to him. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think... I hate it because this is going to sound totally rude, but Rockham's not great with people. All right. It might be a bit beyond you. Fala signs something, and Zaraj says, What makes you say that? It's a... I guess shamanistic ritual is a good way to put it. So Fala signs something, and Zaraj says, I'm a druid. <laughs> I know, I know what's about to happen, but I'm not, I want to insight. Okay. I don't know if you sure. believe them. Sure. It's disadvantage, but you know. Yeah, that, makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Like, the thing about it is, right? This is something that that insight is. There's a reason that yeah. unscrutable types use the type of disabled person that Fala is. This is a real mm -hmm. thing. Like the like the freaking Yakuza and Triads do this. Because when they have a translator, it's almost impossible to incite them. Yeah, and yeah. I knew it was about that. Like, like are you inciting Zoraj or are you inciting Fala? I'm inciting Zoraj. You're inciting Zor like the so Zoraj reads as just like a blank slate. Okay. Zaraj, Zaraj reads like someone reading a book. Okay, I see what's up now. So I think he turns to follow in this case. Yeah, it's a. Didn't mean to offend, it's just. So Fala yeah. signs something, and Zaraj says, It's fine. Not many people know to look at me. He nods. And I think, like. I, Brian, wouldn't know what he needed, but I think he'd start listing off a few yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, no. It to and, and Fala just, like, nods and just starts, like, moving among the plants and just, like, taking clippings yeah. and putting them in a little bundle. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, and, and, and signs something, and Zaraj says, Looks like it's gonna be about 20 gold, 20 dragons. And he'll nod and go through his stuff and, and get that out. And, you know, takes it. Uh, and Zaraj, like, takes it and puts it on the counter. Um, and like looks over and sees Fala looking at him, and he goes, "Yeah, it's all here." And Fala nods and bundles everything up, and ties it up, brings it, brings it over, wraps it in like wax pa paper. Excuse me, passes it to you. Thank um, you. And then Fala signs something, and Zaraj says, "What, really?" And Fala nods, and Zaraj says, "You could tell that just from the plants." And Fala nods more firmly. And Zaraj <laughs> looks at you and says, Who died? A uh, companion of mine, a Caro, German Shepherd, yay high. Well, it wouldn't be German Shepherd, but yeah. Well, he would like the equivalent. Well. Yeah, yeah. Something and, Shepherd. And, and so Fallen follow, nods like, like you said something that they understood. And Zaraj like, looks between the two of you and makes that face like, Okay, you're not going to explain this to me. Fair enough. Um, and, and Zaraj says, um, <laughs> again, perfectly intoned the way Fala would say it. He says, can I help you with anything else today? That'll be all. Thank you. And, and Fala nods. nods. Individually nods to both of them. Yeah. Goes to leave. So you, you turn to Probably leave and, and Zaraj goes, hey. <laughs> Stops, turn around. Yeah. We, um, we have him. He starts to say something, and he looks at Fala, and Fala is like very pointedly, like picking up a watering can and moving to the back of the room. Um, 
And when Fall is gone, Zoro says, You and I have a mutual acquaintance. I mean, yeah, I saw you with some of my family earlier. Uh, I think Zoro just pointed his tusks. And I think they're solid four or five seconds. Or normally we'd see like dot, dot, dot. Right, yeah. And then there's... Oh. Wait, really? Yeah, really. So you're not Steve, then. Unless that is your name, but you don't seem like that, Steve. What part of the way that I look makes you think that you really want that information? You're Joseph, got it. I turn to leave. Hang on. <laughs> turn back around again. Yeah, that was funny. Doesn't want to get stabbed in the gut right now. You and I have a mutual acquaintance, yeah? Will I get stabbed if I answer yes? No, I have a fucking question. Then yes, sure. Is he alive? Last I saw him? Where the fuck did he go? Because... Heard he got into a fight with... He lowers his voice, because he's shouting. <laughs> heard he got into a fight with, um... A flame-headed toss pot. All right. You know who I'm I talking him... about? Just nod. Yeah. I saw him early this morning, and he was healthy. I don't know where he went, though. Can you find out? Yeah, I can find out. Cool. Tell my friend. He, like, points at follow. Up. I gotcha. Cool. It Slowly was okay, begins turning around this time. <laughs> and I can find him. I have something for you. I'll leave it with my friend. I'll... Wait, Should I have him no. Here, or? Your friend owes me something. So if you give me that information, that something that your friend owes me is good. Intentionally pausing here. Right. I'll just, should I have him come by here when he's not occupied? No, you come by here and tell my friend that your friend right. is at this place. I've been awake for a while. I got you. I think, yeah, and I when you. you do that, your other friend, the red one, doesn't owe me anything anymore. Right. Got it? Yeah. Good. Oh. Now you can go. And he leaves. <laughs> cool. Now I'll head back to the... Uh... I almost said steam and seal, that's wrong. The bookworm's yeah, treasure. Right. Yeah. We head over to the bookworm's treasure, um, and Rashal seems to be right where you left him. Okay. Um, he's like, a customer like walks out past you, you walk in, and, and he smiles at you. Doesn't really look up from what he's doing, just like glances up, smiles, finishes the, the line that he's writing. Find everything that you needed. Yeah, I'm pretty much ready. Wonderful. Uh, um, I cleared a space for you. Um, it's not really a spare bedroom. I, um, how do I put this? Um, you saw the way that I sleep, yes? Mm -hmm. Imagine that. Um, but there's no space to sleep. That's fine. There's a room like that upstairs. I cleared out a circle for you. I, uh, Proffered some uh, 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 arcanic assistance, and I do wish you the best of luck. Thank you. It's it's appreciated. And perhaps a nap afterwards. Hmm? That's the plan. Yeah. Well, I do believe that I can take care of myself during the day. Hmm. You know, it's a, and just like you point to claw upstairs. You, yeah, you, you, yeah, you head upstairs, and the only other room that was up here um, is, yeah, just stacked floor to ceiling with books. Um, <laughs> but some of them have been cleared out, and, like, a, basically a spell circle has been drawn in the middle of the yeah. room with, like, candles on it. 
and it's got like glyphs of, of like stability and warding and stuff on it. Not that you know what any of that is. Yeah. Um, but it's like yeah, it's, it's like there's like incense burning in the middle of it. It's like clearly a space for you to like do your thing. Okay. You like yeah, close, the close the door, and then yeah, like like take us there. What is what is what does Rockham do? So I think he sets the uh, the food as it were in the center. Right. And then with the herbs, maybe individually he sets it in like different points around it. Mm-hmm. Maybe burn some of them over mm-hmm. the course. But, and I think it's less prayer, more so he's just sitting there on his... Uh, what, what's it called when you're, like, sitting, like, on your knees, as it were? Yeah, you're, like, sitting on your knees with your butt on your ankles. I know what you're on about. Yeah. yeah. He's doing Yelling? that. <laughs> kind of, yeah. And, like, his bow is on the floor next to his knees. Right. Totally. And I think... I think what we see is him close his eyes... Mm-hmm. And then we just see a vision of Valorhome. Nice. Or, may- or maybe we see Valorhome reflecting in his eyes right before. Yeah. No, 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 I know what it is. We get the tight zoom of his face, right? As he's about to close his eyes and focus, we hear uh, Jara's hunting horn. There you go. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then we, we fade out, and that's the last shot of the episode. Yeah. Uh, fade that's, out that's... on me getting chills. Holy shit. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Y'all need to stop making me run long. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> I wanted Carol. There is so much going on in Waterdeep, and it is only... This episode has been the most hectic we've had in a while. No, it is not. Last week happened. Happened. The <laughs> fucking Zelefarn fight was the most hectic you've had in a while. <sighs> so, that's our show for the week. Hope you guys had fun. We are going to do some shout outs and then get out of here. Man of the hour, Brightwind Inc. Start us off. Hi, I'm Brightwind Inc. I uh I do art stuff sometimes and other times I take two levels of exhaustion. Mm. Possibly three, depending how long the ritual takes. But uh, yeah, thanks for having me today. It was fun. You can find me at Brightwind Inc. on Deviant DeviantArt. Wow, I'm just messed that up. DeviantArt, Discord, Facebook, Twitter. I think that's it. Yeah, all the things it. thanks for having me <laughs> delta yo um delta your resident mad scotsman you'll find me hanging about kit's channel on the discord usually playing warframe or the new game i've picked up hell divers uh, if you ever need a hand with something give me a shout and i'll see if i can help okay that was quick. Gamzy? Uh, sorry, I'm out of it. A so lot am of time I. missing all at once. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as always, I am the bot in training. And if you ever need any recommendations for books, movies, stories, help with an idea, you can always find me one click away in the library or your DMs. Or, maybe you'd be more interested in learning a thing or two about D&D you didn't know. In that case, join myself and the Fox Wednesdays for hitting the books. Good job. Connie? Hey, I'm Bridge Mila, aka Gracie. I do a lot of art and things for Kit's channel, and I also love tabletops. So if you like either of those things, uh, give me a poke. In fact, there's going to be a second half to my two-shot uh, Tales of the Loop game on Saturday, so tune in. Did you have fun the night, Gracie Pants? Yes, yes I did. Good. Nightfall? Hello, I am Nightfall, the Kitsune. I am Kit's community manager. I am almost always in the Discord if you need to, po- uh, if you need to poke me or anyone else we we're there i also occasionally i i plan to one day do the stream thing again i don't know when uh uh i don't know what we're doing uh don't know what i'm gonna do <laughs> when i leave here tonight so just have a good night probably uh, scream probably finish us out trace 
Hi everybody, Trayscar here. Uh, I'm a mod for Kit's chat. I am also a mod on the Discord, and if you need anything, I am more than happy to assist. I knit soft and fluffy things, and if you caught the beginning of the stream today, we are also all getting back into Final Fantasy XIV, so if that might strike your fancy at all, we can you know, figure something out and hopefully get more folks into play. For my part, I am the shop-eyed Kitsune, the teller of tales and the weaver of mysteries, the masked bard. This is the channel that is devoted to lore and storytelling, world-building, role-playing, and discussions of those things. So if that's to your fancy, you're an excellent company here, and I do hope that you enjoyed your time with us. You just watched Decisive Action Into Waterdeep, featuring the Nightlights, our weekly Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition module double feature of Waterdeep Dragon Heist and Dungeon of the Mad Mage. The things are only ramping up and will continue to do so, but fret not, because I stream every single day that my health permits me to do so, and we're rolling with advantage in 2020, which is two chances to catch a given stream. I will do my best to get up tomorrow and do the afternoon stream of Neo 2 if you're watching the live show. However, with the weather being as absolutely fucked as it has been, I might not be able to do that. But either way, we have session zero of the upcoming Decisive Action Crown of Fangs uh, in the evening that I definitely need to stream. So be here for that. If you're of a mind to do so, we would absolutely love to have you. For now, it's time for me to get out of here. But when I do, I'll be hosting someone. It's someone who I like, someone who I hope that you all will like, and can spread some of the love that was felt here today over in their channel. And check back here, because I'm always hosting someone, and you might find your new favorite streamer that way. And also, a quick note for those watching this live, it has been a very, very interesting sub day. We got a lot done on the Discord. Thank you to all of the subs for helping keep this channel running. You guys are the reason that I'm able to do this every day for you. With that, I'd like to leave you for the evening with these parting words. From myself, my keepers, and those joining me on the stage this evening, to all of you, the regulars, the followers, the newcomers, and the lurkers, whether you're just having a seat by the fire or you've got a running tap at the bar, remember, there's always more stories to tell. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time as we get back into Waterdeep with a new chapter. Good night, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by, and hopefully, I'll see you again soon.